Center at the University of California, Irvine. This is the championship game of Weva. The winner of this game will automatically go into the final four for the national championship. The loser will go back into the pack, so to speak. It will go to the semifinal round of Weva. And Long Beach State, the defending national champion, is the favorite in this match. But Pepperdine, if they can break through, Pepperdine will be in the final four. And Long Beach State will have to come back and win this tournament all over again. Time to meet the players. Let's go to public address announcer Sam Lagana. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a pleasant good evening and welcome to the Western Intercollegiate Volleyball Association Championship match. Tonight, it's the divisional champion to the Bert de Groot division and the Harry Wilson division confronting one another for the title of the WIVA. Let's meet the Bert de Groot division champion, Pepperdine Waves. A sophomore outside hitter at 6'3", from Laguna Beach, California, number five, Dane Blanton. The captain, a junior at 6'6", outside hitter from Racine, Wisconsin, number six, Tom Sorensen. A junior outside hitter at 6'4", from Honolulu, Hawaii, number seven, Lee Legrand. A sophomore 6'2", outside hitter from Batyam, Israel, number nine, Alan Grinberg. A freshman 6'3 center from Tulsa, Oklahoma, number 10, Chip McCall. And a junior 6'5 outside hitter from Huntington Beach, California, number 15, Dwayne Cameron. The head man at the dime, Marv Dunphy. His assistant, Tandy Reed, Harlan Gaunt, and Rick McLaughlin. And now let's meet the Harry Wilson Division champions and the defending national champion, Long Beach State 49ers. A junior 6'1 center from Manhattan Beach, California, number four, Jason Stimfing. A senior 6'4 middle blocker from Los Angeles, California, number six, Brett Schroeder. A junior, 6'5", outside hitter from Dana Point, California, number seven, Brent Hillier. A senior, 6'3", outside hitter from Los Gatos, California, number nine, Matt Lyles. A junior, 6'4", outside hitter from Manhattan Beach, number 11, Zachary Small. And finally, a senior 6'5 middle blocker from Huntington Beach, California, number 14, Alan Knight. The head man at Long Beach State, Ray Rattel, is number one assistant, Mike D'Alessandro. This is the matchup for the championship and the automatic berth to the NCAA championship. Let's take a look at how these two teams match up, and for that, we'll go right away to Kurt. Well, we see right away, good hitting team side out, 371, 384, and they block well. 282 for Pepperdine, a lot of digging. Don't let the other teams hit much. 303 for Long Beach. There's a lot of side outs when you see these two teams play. Expect a long match. Pepperdine will serve first. Dane Blanton. From Laguna Beach, California, will serve first for Pepperdine. They are the champions of the DeGroote division. And they are 21 and 4, 12 and 4 in the division. These two teams met each other on the 21st of March. Long Beach State winning in 4, 15-6, 15-9, 14-16-59. Long Beach State, of course, ranked number one, 27 and 2. Winners of the Harry Wilson division. They were 15 and 1. And we are underway. Stimfick goes cross court. And Schroeder hits it off the block, side out for Long Beach State. So the 49ers serving, Stimfick serving. McCaw quickly to Cameron. 
inside out Pepperdine. Something you can do well against this Long Beach team is go to the middle. Good passing, you'll see a lot of middle hitting. Cameron now serving for Pepperdine. Game number one just underway. Good block in the middle by LeGrand and the hit by Small. Jim, that really shows a lot what Long Beach does. They keep the ball in play, the best ball control in the country. Not a lot of balls hit the ground. Serving is Knight, Al Knight. McCaw back set. And Grinberg able to get that ball off of Stimfig, side out for Pepperdine. It will be tough to score. I mean, this could turn into a battle of attrition. We are going to be here a while. We talked about their last match. Four games took two and a half hours. This could take some time. Off of Small, hitting the ball up the middle was Legrand. So one nothing in favor of Pepperdine. They score first, serving for Pepperdine. Number 10, Chip McCall. Kilgore off the block and out, side out for Long Beach State. Hilliard for Long Beach State and Sorensen for Pepperdine. You will hear those two names practically all match long. McCall sets up and Grinberg able to get the side back for Pepperdine. It's important for Grinberg to have a good start. He's a streaky player, great passer. He needs to be involved in the offense. Grinberg jumps her. Stimfix short set down the middle by Lyle. Miles pounds back to the floor. Well, again, what these teams do so well is pass the ball. Right on the money to Stinfig. Lyles up, threads the needle through the block. Great play. These teams pass so well. Good pass by Grinberg McCaw. That went to LeGrand. Off the block and outside out for Pepperdine. Both teams. In the early going, at least, attacking from the middle. They like to go straight down. Get that angle. LeGrand serving, but he serves wide. That's a mistake. Pepperdine leads 1-0. Side out for Long Beach State. Serving for Long Beach State is Hilliard. Amazingly, no one recruited Hilliard. I mean, that's amazing. But he's a big-time player, I'll tell you. He's going to be a mainstay of the 96 Olympic team, if not the 92 Olympic team. Sorensen hits side out for Pepperdine. Still 1-0 in game one. All of the other matches today, Stanford against Hawaii, UCLA against USC, Northridge against Santa Barbara, all went early, all went quick, all three game matches. Well, Jim, the difference is those were seeded teams. Number one played, number three played eight, that was Stanford versus Hawaii. These are the two top teams in the division, so we won't see that happen in this match, I'm convinced. Jump served by Lyles Blanton with a good dig, and Sorensen, what a rip by Sorensen. Sorensen out of the back row. You see this so often in men's volleyball. Good set, about eight feet off the net. He drifts into the ball, extends right over the top. Great play. Look where he lands. He started behind the 10-foot line. Lanson again serves for Pepperdine. Hilliard, that went off the block, and we go back the other way to Long Beach State. Well, tit for tat that time. Hilliard out of the back row. We'll see Hilliard. We'll see Sorensen. You'll hear those names a lot tonight. Boy, amazing the balance on both teams. Good pass again. McCaw gets it over. And a point for Long Beach State, net violation. So we are tied at one in game one. They called the net violation on McCall. Serving as Stimfig for Long Beach State. Flanton with a good bump. McCall short set, and there's Cameron. That's off the block and outside out for Pepperdine. So Cameron will now serve. He's out of Huntington Beach, California, the 6'5 junior. Game one, this is the championship game. High stakes and high drama. Knight answers back. Well, as we're gonna see time and time again, I'll talk about good passing. Right on the money by Long Beach, a back one set, Knight with the big kill. So Knight serving for the 49ers. Little touch. And it's side out for Pepperdine. Tip over the top, uh, Hilliard tries to go for the pancake, as we see here. Gets a spatula out, but there's no batter there. He doesn't quite get the pancake to flip it. Grinberg credited with that little dink. Knight, that's long. That's a point for Pepperdine. And Pepperdine leads 2-1 in game one. These are the two champions in Weaver, division champions. 
Knife into the net. That's a point for Pepperdine. Said the ball never cleared, hit the top of the tape and caromed out. Good call. It's important for Pepperdine to get off to a good start. The, the more they get stay ahead, the more confidence they'll get. McCaw again with the serve. And that time, shoulder was rejected. And a double hit called on Grinberg. Grinberg said, wait, it went off my head. That wasn't a double hit. Well, you know, a hard hit ball, you can double hit. But that was off the block, deflected. You're not allowed to double hit that ball. Good call by Wink Davenport, the up official. Sorensen didn't get the angle that time, put it into the net. That was a ball, that was probably the setter's fault. Chip McCaw, ball died. Sorensen tried to hit the angle, could not get there as the ball died in front of him. So Schroeder now serving for Long Beach State, two serving three. And right there, coming back is LeGron. LeGron Quick gets the side back. Nice play right in front that time to LeGrand, who puts it away cross court, beats the blocker. Grinberg jump serve, excellent serve. That went off of Zachary Small. That's a point for Pepperdine. And they now lead it 4-2 in game one. Alon Grinberg again serving. And the toss is everything on this. He tries to keep it out in front of him, falls into the court. Look what they see. That was just long. And the toss is what makes that happen. You keep it in front of you high enough to get a good swing at. That time he was a little bit under the ball. He hit the ball. Zachary Small now serving for Long Beach two serving four. Long Beach ranked number one, Pepperdine ranked number three. Blanton, a block, double hit called. That's a point for Long Beach. That was a mishandled ball in the center, Chip McCaw. Hard to realize he's only a center, very good. Dane Blanton right there in the picture. This is a very good but young Pepperdine team. Small lollipop serve just over the tape. Blanton pushes it over from the 10 foot line. Long Beach State with the advantage. Lyles rolls it on the tape that went off the block and then hit the antenna. That's a point for Long Beach, and we are tied at four. Short serve. Sorensen, that's all she wrote on that. Well, showing what he does so well, he goes up so high, good arm extension, hits over the top. What a great hitter. 6-18, boy, I'll tell you, he can get it done. LeGrand serving. Stiftick short set, Hilliard. That will be returned, that's amazing. Sorensen, however, pumps it long. A good dig by Pepperdine. And Jim, it's very important, those scoring opportunities. You heard me talk about that. That ball comes up and you have a swing at it. You, against the good teams, you must score points. So Brent Hilliard serving from Dana Point, California. And that's an ace. Unusual toss, Brent here. He takes a little two-step toss. Most of the players take about a three-step approach. Brent Hayard here, two steps, one, two, up over the top. Ball drops right on the back line. Great serve. Excellent serve. Takes the second one. Just over the tape, you're right. Good dig in the back row by Schroeder. And that is off the block. That's a point for Long Beach. And they lead 6-4. Well, it's a very good scoring rotation for Long Beach. I've seen that a lot this year. But Hayard serving, he serves tough. And they side out extremely well here. They score points. Hilliard, Blanton from the back row. McCaw setting Cameron. That's Doug. Now Pepperdine with the advantage. McCaw short set Cameron blocked by Knight. Blanton off the block. And a nice try by Lyles. Couldn't get to it. Side out Pepperdine. That was a nice hit by Dane Blanton. That ball sailed past him. He just got it inside the antenna off the block. So Sorensen will jump serve. Stimfick back sets. Lyle, that will be returned. McCaw back sets. Sorensen from the 10 foot line. That's off of Knight. Hilliard, Sorensen, little touch. Blanton keeps it alive. They joust at the net, and the ball is long. Off the hands of Cameron. That was certainly the best action we've seen all day in the tournament. Both teams, a very high excitement. There should be. There's a lot of stake in this match. Just saw a portrait of Ray Rotel. What a job he's done with the Long Beach State. Sorensen from the 10-foot line. That gets by Lyle. That's in. Side out Pepperdine. 6-4. 49ers over the waves. And Blanton will serve. Stimfig back set again. Hilliard, and that's right down the line and in. 
That's his favorite shot. Out of the back row, likes to go down the line, a la Steve Timmons, for those of you that follow volleyball internationally. Boy, what a great back row hitter. Brent Hayer following in his footsteps. Timfig serving. Blanton bumps it to McCaw. Lagrand, that's off of Stimfig and into the seat. Alon Grinberg, what a find for Pepperdine out of Israel. Good back set, little shoot set behind, goes up, sees the block, goes over the hands. Nice extension again. That's a point for Pepperdine. Nice heads up play by Lee Grand that time, Jim. Ball was dug on a beeline, he just reached his hand up, tipped it into the corner. Ray Rattel did not like seeing that ball hit the ground. Cameron serving. Long Beach State goes to Small and rolls along the tape off the block. Side out, Long Beach State. Long Beach State leads 6-5. Serving for Long Beach State is Knipe. Knipe is one of those players that steps up when the other players seem to have trouble. All of a sudden, he becomes a force in games. Grinberg. That's blocked, but out. Blocked at the net by Hilliard. Side out, Pepperdine. Good job by Grinberg that time. So Lee Legrand will serve now for Pepperdine. Small will bump it, Stimfig. And Schroeder hits it off the chest of Cameron. Schroeder now will serve for Long Beach State. Long Beach State trying to go back to the Final Four for the third year in a row. They are the defending national champion. Sorensen, good dig, excellent dig by Lyle. Saved by Stimfe. Schroeder off the net, Blanton with the save. They go cross court to Sorensen. Great dig in by Knight. Hilliard off the block, that'll be returned. Cameron getting confused and finally getting the ball over his Grinberg. Advantage now, Long Beach State. Hilliard, that's blocked by Sorensen. The two stars going head to head, Sorensen, Hilliard. Hilliard makes the wrong decision that time. Sorensen guessed right, took away the line. That was a big point. So they will uh, wipe the floor here as they will hold up action. That gives uh, Marv Dumpy a chance to go out and talk to his team. He's talking uh, to Lee Legrand. Marv, definitely a player's coach. We'll talk to his players all the time. I worked with Marvin Pepperline for four years. He and I worked together, and he's just an excellent coach. Really, the players love playing for him. Grinberg jumps her. Short set, Hilliard off the block. Pepperdine will return it. McCaw at the line goes to Blanton. And that's side out for Long Beach State. Hit the antenna. Well, the old shave on the barber pole that time. You have to get it inside that barber pole. Pull up there, he hit the pole. Gave it a little close shave. Game one, six serving five. McCaw short set, and there's Legrand. Lee Legrand doing a nice job coming around in front that time. He was on the right side, hit the quick one in front of McCaw. So Legrand will serve for Pepperdine from Honolulu, Hawaii. Miles feeding Stimfig to Hilliard. That's right there. Hilliard with a ball that eluded the block and then found the open space on the floor. Side out for Long Beach. Serving for Long Beach is Hilliard. Six serving five. Game one. LeGrand bumping to McCall. Sorensen gets it across. Advantage now Long Beach State. They go to Lyles. That's one. Blanton setting. Sorensen. But he hammers it long, and that's a point for Long Beach State. Every one of those errors, you hit a ball out. Marv Dunphy says, every one of those, I need a stuffed block or a great dig to make up for a missed hit. Jump serves Hilliard. Good dig by Grinberg in the back row, and Cameron. Cameron erases all doubt. Well, Cameron's got a whip. He gets up nice and early, sees the play, just pounds the ball off the foot of Schroeder, but that doesn't count. I wish it would. <laughs> on beach seven, Pepperdine five. That is hit long by Sorensen. Like to join the lobby to let them dig the ball anywhere. Right now you have to dig the ball above your waist. I think that's a rule they can change. Let them dig it anywhere in their body. Get the ball in play. Lyle serving. McCaw to Cameron. Hilliard bumps it. Stimfig. And Long Beach State now is up. 
objecting. They said that Stimfig was unable to set the ball. Well, I'm not sure he doesn't have a good case that time. He tried to go set it. Blocker, you're not allowed to reach over and block that ball, only if it's on your side. And they don't win that argument. Very, very rarely do you win an argument with Wink Davenport. Obviously, good save by Lyles. Hilliard, that's long. That's a point for Pepperdine. And so this match is everything that you said it would be. It's a game of attrition. It is a game of very high caliber volleyball. Little mistake, little opening, windows of opportunity. And they have played each other even. Seven for Long Beach, six for the Waves. Pepperdine right in there in this game. And you would figure that, the two division leaders. I mean, logic dictates here. Knight gets it back for Long Beach State. Quick set tonight, but very good quick hitter. Gets up early, snaps right through the hole in the block, sees it all the way. Good hitting by Alan Knight. Stimfig will serve for how far, Long Beach State. How far back can you go? All the way to the end of the gym, as long as you're not out of the playing arena. As long as there's no level change, you can go back as far back as the arena allows you. Grinberg gets the side back for Pepperdine. I've seen gyms where they are far away. I mean, they're serving from the next zip code. Well, certainly Poly Pavilion is one of those. You can go back forever, and they leave that open, and players do. They'll go way back 40, 50, 60 feet. Serve out of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Hilliard, great faking up front that time. That was a world class. Well, Jason Stinfig is a highly underrated setter. I think he may be the best control setter in college volleyball right now. Moves the ball around, gets to his hitters, makes good decisions. He's just an excellent player. Literally throwing the ball down was McCaw that time to get the side back for Pepperdine. Chip McCaw plays much above his freshman years. He's only a freshman, played a lot of club volleyball, not high school, believe it or not, didn't have a, a program at his high school, Midwest, so he's a very experienced open volleyball player. Good dig by Blanton, good save by Grinberg. McCaw gives it to Sorensen, that's a point for Pepperdine, and they have tied it at seven. Certainly the place you want to go to, your big gun on the outside, Tom Sorensen. Two excellent teams here, and we are only in game one, and we are only about halfway through game one. Knight, they keep it alive. Hillier tries to get it over, he can't do it. Pepperdine takes the lead. And timeout has been called by Long Beach State. Ray Rattel wants to take away the momentum. We shall return. Is weekend car waxing driving you crazy? Then use new formula Ari Polymer and stay tuned now for a free gift from Ari. One easy Ari application lasts up to a year, but Ari is more than just a shine. It's DuPont Teflon protection. Look, we've set it on fire. We've poured acid on it and even spray paint. But see those burn marks just wipe away. This acid didn't harm it and paint is no match for Ari. Ari makes old cars shine like new. Order now and receive a no-charge Ari windshield protector. Watch, a fire hose, full blast, and yet clear see-through vision on the treated side only. But wait, we'll also give you famous Ari vinyl for dashboards and tires. Plus, you'll get this super towel that drinks up liquid like a thirsty camel. Order this complete Ari kit for just $19.95. To order your complete RE protection kit, a $30 value for just $19.95 plus shipping and handling, use your credit card and call 1-800-732-0800 or send your check or money orders to RE Car Polish, P.O. Box 7872, Beverly Hills, California, 90212. I used to buy name brands, but then my mother got me to try Vons brands. You know, they're just as good and the price is a lot less. Why spend the extra money if I don't have to? It is Pepperdine 8 and the number one team in the country, the defending national champion, Long Beach State. They have seven. Very even going here in game number one, Pepperdine serving. Stimfig to Knight, and that's off the block and out. So side out Long Beach. Serving for Long Beach is Schroeder. Long Beach winning in four, the only time that these two teams met this year. That's a point for Long Beach. Hilliard and Sorensen again matched up at the net. This time Hilliard came away. Yeah, Brent Hilliard's game really improved with the national team. His blocking specifically. He used to, you know, play against the Cubans and the Russians. Does help your blocking. That serve by Schroeder goes into the tape side out Pepperdine. Serving for Pepperdine. An intense player Schroeder is. He gives them a lot of intensity, a lot of leadership. Grinberg, jump serve. Excellent jump serve. Just getting it over a small Pepperdine out scrambling. Sorensen 
That's off the block by Knight. They won't get to it. That's a point for Pepperdine, and we are tied. And a Here it is, the effort again. Brent Schroeder, what he does for this team, he runs everything down. Sees it, he has a hard time getting there, still gives it the effort. Nice try. And we are back. Pepperdine scrambling. McCaw keeps it alive. Sorensen from the 10-foot line, but he pumps it long. Pepperdine nine and Long Beach State eight. Serving for Long Beach State is Zachary Small. Blanton to McCaw, they go to Sorensen. Good dig by Knight. Cross court, Lyles, that is off the block. And that's a point for Long Beach. We are tied at nine. Tied for the third time in game one. Calling area five, he wants to go cross court on this suit. Down the line, excuse me, what am I talking about? One is cross court, five is down the line. That's just long. So I get for not coaching anymore, Jim, I forget my areas. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you. LeGrand serving for Pepperdine. Hilliard blocked at the net by Cameron. Stimpick goes back to it. Hilliard pushes it out. That's a point for Pepperdine. And the Waves lead Long Beach 10-9. LeGrand again serve. Hilliard, great dig by Grinberg. Sorensen from the 10-foot line. Excellent dig by Small, but it goes out. That's a point for Pepperdine, and the Waves lead by two over Long Beach State. Great dig in the back row, up in the back that time. Brings it up by Grinberg. Sorensen, ball's high. He's not afraid, goes up and snaps that ball. Great hit. Lyles off the block, and they won't get to it. So the run ends for Pepperdine, shot out for Long Beach State. Game one, 11 for Pepperdine, nine for Long Beach State. Good rotation here for Long Beach State. Hilliard serving, good jump serve, good block and digging in the back row for Long Beach. Excellent serve by Hilliard just over the tape. That makes it easy, serve that ace. Hilliard, good spin serve, watch his toss, two-step approach, one, two, goes up, snaps it cross court, has good control, line or cross court. Another one, that hits the tape this time. So it is 11 for Pepperdine, 10 for Long Beach State here in game number one, and Pepperdine will serve. Sorensen. Well, that's certainly winning time. After you get to 11, you've got to close the game out. If you have a team on the ropes, you want to close them out here. Down the middle, Lyle. Good combination play run that time by Stintzik. Fakes to the middle, they've been going to the middle a lot. Triple option goes to the second of that triple option. Nice play. Lyle serving for Long Beach State. Jumps her, Blanton, pumps it to McCaw, goes back to Blanton, and puts it down in front of Hilliard. Hilliard claiming to hit the tape for the antenna. I believe it was an antenna. Loses that argument quickly. 11 for Pepperdine, 10 for Long Beach State. Blanton now serving for the way. Stimphy goes to Schroeder. Schroeder able to get it in between Cameron and McCall. Moved Cameron to block outside that team, leaving McCaw as the middle blocker. Blanton found him, went right on the inside that time with the hit. Nice play. Stimphy just over the net. Oh, my. Well, you don't see that very often. Big hole, big hole in his tennis racket there. Rinder goes down to, to pass his ball. Bottom drops out. He actually misses it completely with his arms. Swish, strike three. The boogie, he just opens his arms up. The ball goes right between. That is very unusual. Very. Pretty You're embarrassing, too, I'll tell you. <laughs> we are tied at 11. Not bad enough that you open your arms, the ball bounces and hits you in the face. Timeout has been called. This is game one of the Weaver Championship game. The winner will go to the final four. The NHL. From modest beginnings, stemmed the pride of Montreal. From hockey's man of steel to a rocket named Rashad, Espo, Bobby, and the heroics of Bossy. Shutting the door, plus a streaking LeFleur. From father to son, and the magic of the great one. A propelling goal to Lord Stanley's Cup held high. Celebrate the National Hockey League 75th anniversary this season on Sports Channel. Mentioning that these two teams met before, it occurred on March the 21st, and it was Long Beach State, 15-6-15-9, then 14-16-15-9. It went four games. 
here it is tied at 11 in the Weva championship game. Let me ask you a, a question here, Kurt. Long Beach State is coming off a loss. They're coming off a loss in the UCLA tournament. Do you think that has carried over? No, I don't think so at all. I think they were flat in that match. It didn't mean anything to them. They were looking forward to this one and getting ready for this match, I'm sure. Grinberg comes back. Marv Dunphy told me before the game he really thought his team was ready. They had one team they think they can side out with Long Beach. They can just stay in there long enough, steal a point or two, and, and you win the match. They're certainly doing better than they did the last time they met, first game. Cameron now serves for Pepperdine. Small bumps it and unable to get the ball over his knife, and that's a mistake, and that's a point for Pepperdine. That was a bad set by Stenfig. It really never got up above the net. Tried to be saved that time. Could not do so. Point Pep. That's long. Let me ask you another question. Looking at the two divisions this year in the Western Intercollegiate Volleyball Association, which division has the reputation of being the strongest for 92? Well, I think you have to say that Long Beach and Stanford have been one and two most of the year. Have to give it to that division, but I think depth-wise, uh, Northridge, UC, UCLA, Pepperdine, that was a stronger division from top to bottom, but uh, not as strong at the top. Side out again. Question? I got around that one pretty well. Very good. <laughs> Side out again. And the Long Beach State gets it back. Schroeder hit it. You're going to get real tired of saying side out in this match. <laughs> 12 for Pepperdine, 11 for Long Beach. Long Beach serving. Good serve. Sorensen. That is in. They call it in. Well, the Long Beach bench didn't think so. The guys are standing up right there. They look down the line. The lineman, though, is right on that line. He had a better view of it. Nice hit by Sorensen. Hitting some good, bad sets. Along Grinberg, that's long. Well, that's gonna hurt Pepperdine. Two serving errors in a row now. You want to you want to serve tough, but if a guy in front of you misses, you have to keep the next serve in. Pepperdine leads 12-11 Long Beach State serving. Long Beach State, remember, the number one team in the country, defending national champions. Sorensen off of small in the back row. Think about Long Beach, they've been down two games this year more than once and won matches. So if they lose a game, it's not that big a deal, but they'd rather win here as quickly and get to that NCAA Final Four. Nice playing by Pepperdine. LeGrand serving for Pepperdine. Joust at the net, keeping it alive to Stimford. Cat-like moves at the net by Stimford. McCaw set Sorensen. That's a point for Pepperdine. And now Pepperdine closing in on game one. Long Beach State, the players looking up at the scoreboard here. And they call a timeout. Pepperdine not only has stayed with Long Beach State, now they have maneuvered themselves into a position to take game one and will return. Mike Garrett is a winner. First a high school star, then Heisman Trophy winner at USC, and then Super Bowl hero. A winner to those in Southern California. Now the winner is giving back. Tuesday, Garrett hosts the annual Mike Garrett Golf Classic at Brookside Golf Course in Pasadena. There in the shadow of the Rose Bowl, you can join Mike and his friends for a day of golf and fun with proceeds going to the East Los Angeles Youth Foundation. That's a day of golf and fun at the Brookside Golf Course. For more information, call Margie Harris at 310-821-6418. Pepperdine, a team that uh, back on the 21st of March lost to Long Beach State in a position here to take game one. They lead by two, 13 to 11. Well, they're really getting beat at their game, Ray Rattel Taylor. They're a side out team. Pepperdine right now is out siding out Long Beach, and that's what Mark Dunphy thought would happen. Neither team a great blocking team. This isn't the Pepperdine days of the Malibu Roofing Company. So as you remember the 85 team, the Malibu Roofing Company, this is not that kind of team. It's a digging team, good side out ability. Pepperdine's trying to get back to the Final Four for the first time since 1986. Oh, what a dig and help by McCall. They get it across. Hilliard, that is long. And now the Waves are serving for game one. That was an incredible dig by LeGrand and then help from McCall. And LeGrand got to his feet in an instant to get that ball over the net. Great scramble. Hilliard, that's blocked and out. Side out, Long Beach State. Well, Brett Hare's going to make a few errors, but time and time again, Long Beach won't stop going to him, take my word. Hilliard, jump serve. Grinberg to McCall. And let's see, underneath violation. Called on Sorensen. This is, again, that good rotation for Long Beach with Hilliard serving. 
Goes up, the ball's just so close, he tries to save it. Goes way underneath, good call. You can touch that line, you cannot clear it all the way. Good call by the umpire. Umpire Larry Schwartz, give him a little credit for that. Point for Long Beach State. 12 serving 14, Hilliard again the team serve. Grinberg to McCaw. They go to Sorensen, side out, Pepperdine. Well, as you say, they're gonna go to here. They're also, Pepperdine's side, they're gonna keep going to Sorensen. And they should, if you have a horse, you wanna ride him. Look at Ray Rattel. Jump serve Sorensen for the first game. They lead by 14, that's off the block. That'll be returned by Pepperdine. That's blocked. Knight taking it away from Blanton. Little too long to develop that time, and Knight was up there and waiting. Jump serve Lyle. McCaw, Sorensen from the 10 foot line. Side out, and that hit Hilliard in the eye. A little pinball off the face there. You don't, that's not the one exactly you want to see. Here it is, ball goes off. Watch, should be dug easy. They're both right there. That's the problem. They both take out their hands, ricochets. Blanton serving again for game number one. That's a second game point try for Pepperdine. Side out, Knight. Says not here. Not yet. Well, Long Beach is going to give it to you free. I guarantee it. They're a tough team to win. Stimpick now serving for Long Beach State. McCaw, back set. They scramble. Knight saves. And getting it across is Stimpick. McCaw, short set, Cameron. Cameron saves. McCaw, back set. Grimberg gets it across. Rally continues. Schroeder, that's blocked and out. That's a point for Long Beach State. And now they trail by one. 13 serving 14. And timeout has been called by Marv Dumphy. So Long Beach State, they're back to the wall in game one. They are not, as you said, Kurt, going easy. No, not easy at all. Expectation. 14 for Pepperdine, 13 for Long Beach State. Long Beach State serving. Stimphy. And we are still in game number one. It has been even. It has been exciting. Blanton pumps to McCall. Down the middle it goes from Grinberg. And Lyles in the back row shanks it. So again serving for game one, Pepperdine. And we will have a change. Ian Clark will come into the game now for the Waves. Clark comes in for Grinberg. A little Clark. bigger blocker up there. Grinberg, a good ball control guy. Well, uh, Ian Clark, a better blocker. They bring him in to try and score that final point. Serving his camera. Hilliard, that's blocked. And that is in. And Pepperdine wins the first game. 15-13. Long Beach State objects, but not long. Wink Davenport able to pinch off all arguments. And there you see the score of the first game. Pepperdine 15, Long Beach State 13. And the good news, we're only beginning. Are you getting all the golf you want? You want more? More than TV? More than magazines? Sounds like you're ready for Golf Week. Golf Week gives you more golf news than any publication in the world. More on the pros, more tours, with more scores, more stats, more stories. Call Golf Week now to start your four free issues. Just call the number you see on your screen right now. Call now for more amateur golf, national, regional, local, more college golf. Call now to start with four free issues. If you don't want any more, just cancel and pay nothing. Or take another 22 issues, a total of 26 weeks for only $19.95. You can even use your credit card. 
Call Golf Week now to start your four free issues. Just call the number you see on your screen right now. Long Beach State will begin. Game number two, Jason Stimfig will serve. Same starting lineups for both teams here in game number two. That front line of Long Beach, Small, Schroeder, and Knight. Hilliard, Lyles, and serving is Stimfig. Blanton bumps it to McCaw. Grinberg gets it across. Now Long Beach State trying to respond. Oh, great dig. Excellent dig by LeGrand. LeGrand will bump it across. Advantage now belongs to Long Beach State. Stimfig short set. And a little dink over the tape by Knight. That'll be a point for Long Beach State. Here it is. Nice quick attack. They're getting up early, trying to work the middle, trying to spread those blockers out. Go to that middle attacker. Gives your outside hitters more one on one opportunities. 1 0 Long Beach State. Stimpig serving. McCall goes cross court. Grinberg, boy, what a dig by Stimpig. Down the middle it goes. Lyles. 2 0 Long Beach. A lot more fire right now for Long Beach. Cuts on Schroeder. He goes down there. A lot of fire guy in the back row. Stimpig says, what else do you have, huh? You got something else? That's easy enough. Goes in the back row, put away nice play by Long Beach all the way around. Camera, this time unable to handle it is Hilliard. Side out for Pepperdine. Pepperdine did exactly what they had to do in game one, stick around, maneuver themselves into a position to take it, and take it they did. Pepperdine now with the advantage. Blanton goes to Grinberg, double block, Schroeder and Knight. And Knight rising to the top again. He has been involved, even though we're just underway in game two, he has been involved in almost every play. Oh boy, look at him get over. Pikes over the net, stuffs that ball down, and he serves. Grinberg, Lyle handling it in the back row. Long Beach State still keeps it alive, but Stimpig unable to one-hand it over. And it's side out for Pepperdine. Well, bad decision by Stint. They tried the old knuckle over the net. Should have just hit it over easy. Keep it in play. Let your block or defense help. Hilliard off the block and outside out for Long Beach. They lead 2 0 here in game number two. Pepperdine winning the first game 15 13. Hilliard with its eighth kill so far, doing a nice job, but not a big match so far for him, really. Schroeder. Pancake is good, save is good, but out. Well, I love the intensity of your shoulder. He is an intense individual. He gets there, wants to move, gets on himself, gets on his teammates. I don't really think he gets his ball up with a pancake, but it looks good anyway. <laughs> well, get the, get the, I think uh, you wanted Ray Rattel to return that. Get, get the landing gear down, but he didn't get the ball up in time to get it over. Excellent uh, jump serve. Long Beach State responding. And that time, a block right in the middle by LeGrand. Well, nice play by Stimfig. He stumbles around a little bit to get this set up. Blocker's right there. They block it right on the line, says the lineman. Point for the Waves. One serving two. Another excellent jump serve. Stimfig down the middle to Lyle. Lyle's knocking over Cameron in the back row. Well, the block wasn't fooled at all that time by the option. Went to the second option. Both blockers up. He just overpowered the block that time. So Zachary Small will now serve for Long Beach State. Two serving one. Long Beach State trails in this championship match. One game to none. Again, Pepperline really has to stay in contact. They can't let Long Beach run off any points. And that basically goes to their passing. As long as they receive serve the whole night, they will stay right in this match and they have a good shot of winning. Cameron a floater over the net. McCaw down the middle. That was Sorensen. Sorensen hiding in the blue forest on the other side of the net, all of a sudden emerging and pounding the ball down. LeBron serves it long. And so Hillier will serve now for Long Beach State, two serving one. Hillier jump serve. McCaw. Blanton gets it over. Knight again. Knight and Stimpik really not connecting real well in the middle yet with power, but a smart play by Knight, just tipping it over the block, 
defense couldn't get it up. Again, they score a lot of points in this rotation. I'm going to keep saying that. Brent Hilliard serving his jump serve. They dig a lot of balls, and then Knight and Small put the ball away along with Schroeder. Another jump serve. This one almost a changeup. Well, he does that. He does that a lot. You're, you're right, Jim. It is a changeup. He changes speed. He turns it down the line. I like that. He's got good command of his jump serve. Scores a lot of points on it. Sorensen hitting the ball long. It is 4-1 Long Beach State. A good start for the number one ranked 49ers in game two. We will continue after these trade advertisements. With Dodgers and Angels baseball, Clippers basketball, and NHL hockey, Sports Channel's season never ends. From the hopes and optimism of the boys of summer to the style and grace of winter's warriors, Sports Channel has the sports action that rocks L.A. Make sure you don't miss any of the action. Become a Sports Channel premium customer today. Call your local cable operator or 1-800-CABLE-OFF and say, sign me up for Sports Channel. With Sports Channel, your season never ends. Kurt Kilgore, courtside at the Brand Center at the University of California, Irvine. Hilliard serving. McCaw short set. There's Cameron. Cameron slapping it down. Talk the about the out. NCAA championships. Well, the champion every year has come out of the Weaver since 1970 when it was initiated. Sorensen serving. Stinfig tonight. That'll be returned. Sorensen, the dig in the back row by Small. They go to Hilliard from the 10 foot line off the block. Legrand to McCaw. Clanton, that's blocked. And down goes Cameron. That's a point for Pepperdine. What legal to play that ball off your head, Blanton? Hits the ball, gets stuffed straight down. Little Karam off the old noggin, straight up in the air. Legrand just tips it over. Nobody home. That surprised everybody. What a play by Blanton. And that's off the block side out for Long Beach. I think I said Legrand. I should give credit to Dwayne Cameron actually for tipping that ball over. That's my only mistake this year, Jim, luckily. <laughs> Here's Lyle. Of course, the year is young, isn't it? <laughs> Lyle's jump serve. That's into the net. That's an error for Long Beach State. The side will go back to Pepperdine, and Blanton will serve. Dane Blanton, 6'3", sophomore from Laguna Beach, California. Blanton, Legrand, Cameron, McCaw, Sorensen, and Grinberg. What a rip. That's right down the middle that time. Uh, by Knight, again. 5-2. Long Beach State. Side out, Pepperdine. Cameron. So Cameron will now serve for the Waves. Two serving five. Then pick back set. There's Knight. Excellent dig by Blanton. Great save by Cameron. And a double hit call. Oh, yeah, out four hits, a double hit that came. Karam off, then was played up. Good call by Wink Davenport. So Knight will serve uh, Alan Knight, 6'5", senior from Huntington Beach, California. Wiping up the court on the other end. So Knight will dribble the ball to get his rhythm. McCaw. Legrand, a great save by Sorensen, just getting his hand on the ball. Side out, Pepperdine. Right now, you have to say things are bouncing. Pepperdine is the way the ball seems to be carrying their way. And believe me, that will change before this match is over. So they have to take advantage of it. Every, every time they have a scoring opportunity, they must score. McCaw, the 6'3 freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma, getting ready to serve now for Pepperdine. Boy, I like him. He is a good player, heady player, just a freshman. He's going to be around and be a factor in the United States Volleyball. Stimpik goes cross court to Hilliard. That's blocked. And in. That's a point for Pepperdine. A little bit of a lazy coverage that time by Long Beach. They're sort of used to Hilliard putting the ball away time and time again. As he hits it, watch, you can see the ball ricochets. The two players were not ready to cover. Ball hits the ground. Three serving four. And a miss hit in the backcourt by Zachary Small. 
And we are tied at four. Tied for the first time in game number two. Here it is a float. He gets set. The ball changes direction. He does not move his feet. That's sort of the shank tank, Jim. Quick a swim in the shank tank. Serving is McCall. He has scored two straight points. Wants this string to continue. Just over the net. Excellent serve. Hilliard. That's long. That's another point. Three in a row now for Pepperdine. Well, Brent Hilliard had making a lot more hitting errors than I'm used to seeing him make. Pepperdine's block, I think, has got him read well right now. He's trying to do a little bit too much. Slaughter over the net. Stimping. Goes to Hilliard again. This time, Hilliard in front of Blanton. Side well, out for a Long Beach State. Stintig with a nice fake in the middle. Took both blockers out of the play. One player on, Pepper, on Long Beach you don't want to leave alone with no block is Brent Hilliard. There he was. No block up. Big kill. Schroeder now serving for Long Beach State. Giving up three straight points, Jim. They have to get back in the rhythm. It's actually Pepperdine who's outlasting Long Beach in this match. They've been the most steady team so far. Alon Grinberg now will serve for Pepperdine. He has that jump serve. Good toss, gets a lot of steam. He jumps way into the court when he serves the ball. He takes a big run, jumps about four or five feet into the court. Watch the toss, that's the key. He'll run in and end up inside the court as he releases the ball. Schroeder handles it in the back row. Hilliard, that's long. That's another point for Pepperdine. Again, Jason Stitzing never get that ball up, so Hilliard could extend. He tried to save it from a low set, couldn't do so out of bounds. Another hitting error for Long Beach. Grinberg again, but this time into the net. Long Beach out of sorts here, out of kilter. They've got to get back. Wheels beginning to wobble a bit here in game number two. They trail by two points. Four serving six, small. Gets it over Blanton, bumps it to McCall. LeGrand and an excellent dig by Small. Here comes Pepperdine. Grinberg, that'll be returned, and they say wait. Back row hitter over the line. That's the call by Wink Davenport. Hand up in the air means your back row hitter, you cannot go in front of that three-meter line. You can't touch the three-meter line. You must be clearly behind it. He invaded the front row. So Small will back up. And still some uh, protests for the umpire, Larry Schwartz, or the down official. He handles it. It is 6-5, Pepperdine. Blanton from the back row, Schroeder. Advantage, Pepperdine. And that time, Sorensen gets the ball off of Knight and out. Side out, Pepperdine. Pepperdine staying ahead of Long Beach State. By the slimmest of margins here in game number two, Lee LeGrand will now serve for the Waves. They played marvelously well here in this championship match. And that side out for Long Beach. That time Lyles from the three meter line. And Dane Blanton in the net for Pepperdine. Marv Dunphy going and looking at his charts. Both coaches with charts. They'll take a look at who's hitting where and when. Blanton. That's blocked but out. Side out for Pepperdine. Knipe on the way out. Never really squared up that time. Ball hit his hands as he drifted out. Good put away. Off the block. The tool job. Sorensen jump serve for Pepperdine. Lyles, that's blocked in us. Side out Long Beach State. Again, very close in game number two. The crowd here looking and wondering which team will crack a bit to let the other team seize control. In the first game, it was Pepperdine. And that is an ace. An ace by Lyles. And that ties it at six. And that's a mistake for Pepperdine. Misreading that serve. So Lyles will serve again. Jump serve. Same spot almost exactly. Sorensen. Sorensen blisters the ball for the side out. He gets a lot of heat on the ball out of the back row this time. He goes up. Big Steam finds the seam in the block. He cannot leave that hole. Blockers jumped too high that time with their hands. Blanton now serving for Pepperdine. Lyles bumps it. Stimfig to Hilliard. That'll be returned. And that's off the block by Stimfig and out. We're already seeing some good defense by both of these teams. Hilliard blasted away that time. Dug in the back row easily. Put away by Pepperdine. Blanton will again serve for Pepperdine. And they have assumed the lead again. 7-6. 
Blanton serves just over the net. Bumped us small to Stimpik. Here's Hilliard. Blanton saves in the back row. Sorensen. Grinberg gets it over. Rally continues. They go cross court. Schroeder. And that's why. That's a point for Pepperdine. Got time for a timeout, I think, for Ray Rattel. Rattel gets up, walks into the court, calls the timeout. He's got to stop this Pepperdine momentum as the Waves continue to lead Long Beach State in game two. home of the NHL Sports Channel April 26th AMC's be betting tonight. on a sure thing Marlon Brando be a lady tonight Frank Sinatra Gene Simmons I were a bell, I'd be ringing. Vivian Blaine a person could develop a call call it dumb call it clever the classic Robert Broadway hit Guys and Dolls. Guys only doing it for some dolls. Sunday, April 26th, 6 Pacific on AMC. Matt Lyles of Long Beach State now 10 kills in this match. And Tom Sorensen of Pepperdine, 16 kills. 8 6. Blanton will serve for Pepperdine. The waves continue to give Long Beach State fits here. Another great dig in the backcourt by Legrand Sorensen off of Hilliard's fist and out. That's another point for Pepperdine. Brent here getting a lot of swings, but not making and having a lot of kills tonight. They need him to get hot right now. Sorensen is certainly doing the job for his team. 17 kills. Nine serving six. Knuckleball serve. Stimfish goes to Schroeder. That's blocked. Hilliard with the dig. Schroeder goes cross court. Knight. That ball is lifted. Blanton a save and getting it across is Grinberg. Hilliard, Stimfig, and Knight. So Knight able to swat it home. And Long Beach State now has some catching up to do here in game number two. They trail 9 6. Stimfig will serve from far away. Blanton, McCaw, back set. Grinberg, good save by Stimfig. They battle at the net. Stimfig tries to save it again. But a net violation on Long Beach State, and that's a side out for Pepperdine. Long Beach State looking the tighter team right now, making a few more errors. Not the team in command. Definitely Pepperdine in control here. Marv Dumpy will. He's seen it all. 88 gold medalist coach, so he knows how to get a team ready. Trey Rattel looking on his team. Losing the first game 15 13 and trailing here in game number two, 9 6. Stimpik short set tonight. That'll be returned. Cameron, good dig in the back row. Sorensen, and that's in. Back set again, going to Sorensen out of the back row. Time and time again, 18th kill for Sorensen. Stimpik will go to small. Blanton saves. Also saving is Sorensen, getting it across his camera. Advantage now, Long Beach State. They go to Sorensen. That's off of Blanton. So side out, Long Beach State, but they trail by four. It is 10 6 Pepperdine. Schroeder after that kill, definitely an intense individual, trying to get his team fired up. But a net on Long Beach, a kill that time. Out of bounds, but Long Beach again. Another error costing them a point. That time it was called on Hilliard. So McCall will serve. 10 serving six here in game number two. Stimfig goes tonight. Excellent dig in the back row by Cameron. But again, you want to have things go your way? The second play that's gone off a Pepperdine player head into the court that time. Off the head of Sorensen for a kill, and that counts as a kill. The 19th hit, a head kill by Sorensen. And giving Ray Rattel a headache, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. 11-6. 
Pepperdine leads here in game two. They lead in this match one game to none. Hilliard responded. Well, really Hilliard has to pick up his pace right now. Not especially playing a great match. He averages almost eight kills a game. He's well below that right now with only his 10th kill. The other side, Sorensen, if you get seven and a half kills a match, you're leading the country. Right now, Sorensen has 18 kills. That's nine a game. And we're only not quite through the end of game two. Schroeder serving for Long Beach State. McCaw setting cross court. Grinberg, and that is side out for Pepperdine. Long Beach State able to get a hand on it, but that's all. So Alon Grinberg will serve now for Pepperdine. 11 serving six here in game number two. A surprise, Kurt? Well, yeah, you'd have to say a surprise, but I think Mark Dunphy said, hey, we're ready. He said, and he's right. His team is ready. I think uh, Long Beach is not as ready. They're not playing well. Maybe the carryover for the match the other night, the loss to UCLA, they did not play well then. So these things can't happen. I didn't think it would carry over, but it appears to have. Small serving for Long Beach State. Short set. That'll be returned. Short set again. Back set. And Sorensen hiding in the corner. I mean, he was hiding in the corner. Well, the other thing that Pepperdine's doing well is they're scoring on every opportunity they get. They get a free ball. They go to Sorensen. He pounds the ball straight down. Long Beach not taking advantage of any breaks. Pepperdine getting all the breaks and making their own. LeGrand serving now. Stimfick goes to Hilliard off the block. That's not out for Long Beach. And Hilliard now will serve for Long Beach State. 11 for Pepperdine, 6 for Long Beach State here in game number two. And Pepperdine able to win the first game 15-13. Cameron off of a nice set by McCaw and a great pass by LeGrand. Good team effort. Jump set Sorensen. Schroeder is there. They battle at the net. Blanton keeps it alive. McCaw back set. Schroeder. Lyles with a, a great block and Schroeder with the dig. Now Pepperdine. Blanton. Lyles keeps it alive. They go back to him from Hilliard. Side out Long Beach. Remember that point, a good save by Long Beach. They're struggling. Pepperdine playing good defense, both teams. Probably the best rally of the match right there. The trouble is for Long Beach is they're having to work awfully hard right now for side out. And that's usually not a problem for them. So Lyles serving now for Long Beach State. Jump serve. Convert to McCall, back set Sorensen, and that is in. Some protest from Long Beach, but it goes side out Pepperdine. I thought that ball was out too, to tell you the truth. Right in front of us, I thought it was out. Blanton serving. Lyles bumps it to Stimfee. Short you know what happens, night. Jim? You start thinking things are going your, not going your way, and all of a sudden, every ball hit, you're complaining on, you're not getting breaks, and it starts to manifest itself, and you don't get any breaks. That's really what's happening to Long Beach. They're a little bit snake bit right now. Everything Pepperdine touches is coming up. Give a lot of credit to Pepperdine. They're playing a great game. Long Beach State fans here, they brought their national championship banner, and they are sitting very quietly right now, very pensive. That's out. Stimpick was able to get a hand on that from Grinberg on that spike, but he touched it too long. 11 serving six. Stimpick goes to small. That's off the block, Cameron. They go back to Grinberg, and that's in. That's a point. Well, Mark Dumpty again said he thought if they had one advantage, they're a quicker team. They're showing it right now, they are quicker. 12-6 Pepperdine in game two. And Pepperdine leads this match one game to none. Is weekend car waxing driving you crazy? Introducing Space Age Formula RE Polymer Car Protection. A 20-minute application lasts months and months, and it's the easiest protection you'll ever apply. Hi, I'm John Parkin. And stay tuned right now for a free gift from Ari.
Ari is more than just a shine. It's real protection with DuPont Teflon. Look, this lighter fluid's on fire. Those burn marks, they just wipe away. Want more? What could be worse than hydrochloric acid eating right through this piece of metal? But it can't break through that Ari protection. Even road tar can't hurt it. And spray paint is no match for Ari. Just a few simple wipes and it's gone. What about an old car? You can't get any older than this. But Ari brings back that showroom luster. Order now and we'll include Ari Shield free of charge. Apply it to your windshield for super clear vision. It's great for your headlights, too. We applied Ari Shield to half of this windshield and the rain runs down for clear vision. Even a fire hose full blast in this ferocious water cannon makes no impression. Look, see through vision on the treated side only. Mud thrown at the windshield, no problem. Just look how it clears on one side only and one application lasts up to six months. But wait, order now and you'll get Ari Shine. It brings new dash to your dashboard and makes your radios radiate. Plus, you get this super towel that drinks up water like a thirsty camel. Even spills on your carpet come up clean and dry. Super towel just lifts them out. You'll get the complete Ari Protection Kit, a $30 value for just $19.95. Here's how to order. To order your complete RA Protection Kit, a $30 value for just $19.95 plus $450 shipping and handling, use your credit card and call 1-800-522-7600 or send your check or money orders to RE Car Polish, P.O. Box 7872, Beverly Hills, California, 90212. That's 1-800-522-7600. Call now. There you see the story, 15-13, Pepperdine, 12-6 in the second game, Pepperdine leading. Now, when we went into this, we said that these two division champions, Pepperdine is the defending, rather, uh, Long Beach is the defending national champions. They are also ranked number one in the country. Pepperdine is ranked third, while Stanford is second, and yet it is Pepperdine out playing Long Beach State so far in this match. Small, and the... Excellent effort by Blanton and also Cameron in the back row. Well, Pepper, Long Beach. Pepperdine is reading Long Beach's offense extremely well. Not getting beat. Uh, they're not getting beat much on the on the options. They're getting two blockers up on the second hitter. They have to mix it up a little bit, change their offense up a little bit. Jason Stinsley go to different hitters, get somebody else involved. Pepperdine is doing this against one of the finest teams Weaver has produced. Long Beach State is a superior team. That is just smart play by Grimberg. Came up, looked at, at the opening, and then took advantage of it. Really right now, Pepperdine is certainly out quicking Long Beach. They're just a step ahead, doing everything right. They're making no mistakes, and they're really playing a very good match. Can it turn around? We'll have to wait and see what kind of heart Long Beach has. Long Beach State, however, gets the side out just over the net. Sorensen. Tim Fenton. Schroeder down the middle, Lyles off the block and in. That's a point for Long Beach. You can hear Lyles yelling, Pipe, pipe. That means right down the middle of the court, out of the back row. He got it. Well, it is 12 for Pepperdine, 8 for Long Beach State. Long Beach State trying to hold things together, come back here and Game number two, just tickling the tape that time is late. So it is side out and Pepperdine will serve. Serving for Pepperdine will be McCaw, Chip McCaw. 12, serving eight. Olympic setting. Knight, that's off the block, and it is side out Long Beach. So even when Long Beach has been able to get their points, other things have happened, net violations, lifts, double hits. Well, things are definitely not going their way, and, and you do get snake bit, no doubt about it. You start thinking every call is going against you, every bounce is going against you, and you just have to hang in there, turn it around, because it will turn around. But you have to stay around long enough for it to happen. Shoulder serving. McCaw goes that time to Sorensen, and it was not a good set at all. It was too low. Sorensen trying to slap at it, but it got part of the net. It is now 9, serving 12. Long Beach starting to creep back little by little. But they score a point, score a point, hit a ball out of bounds. Exactly. They're, exactly. Just, they're hurting themselves as much as they're being hurt by bad breaks. They are not playing a great match right now, but you have to give credit to Pepperdine, who is not making many mistakes. 
Grinberg tried for it in the back row off that spike, and it's side out to Long Beach. So Mark Dumphy consulting with his assistants. Andy Reid, Harlan Cohen, Rick McLaughlin, a great coaching brain trust for Pepperdine. Serving is small. Grinberg is there. McCaw down the middle. Sorensen. That rippled through the fingers of the block at the net. Well, the blockers weren't fooled, but Sorensen went right over the top of Stenfig, which he should do. Six foot six, good outside hitter, went right over the smaller setter Stenfig. The grand on that serve. Lyle. Lyle that time got part of McCall. Got a little bit of a feel, but Long Beach is starting to steady out a little bit right now. Shoots it to the outside. Lyle's carrying a big, of that, big amount of that load. Doing a great job with uh, 11 kills. Hillier jump set. Pepperdine trying to get the side back, and Cameron does. That's very impressive, Chip McCaw, only a freshman. Out of Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma, doing a great job running this Pepperdine offense. So much of the power in this country is located in the West, in California. Well, these two teams certainly are an argument that that's starting to move away now. There's foreign players playing. Alan Grinberg here, Alon Grinberg. Um, you have players from Lila Grand out of Honolulu. Great players coming out of Honolulu, out of Hawaii, from all over the country. Indiana, Purdue, Fort Wayne, an excellent uh, team. Penn State, Rutgers. Well, Tom Sorensen's out of Racine, Wisconsin, so they're from all over the country now. Blanton with an excellent save there. Stimpig gives it to Hilliard, and Blanton blocks Hilliard. Hilliard can't believe it. A little bit of a trap set. Blanton really did what he had to. He closed the hole. That's the secret. The ball sort of dies. Look at him close the line, turn his hands in, perfect block. 12 serving nine. Blanton serving for Pepperdine just over the tape. Long Beach goes cross court to Schroeder, and Schroeder is roofed and rejected by Cameron and McCall. That's a point. 13-9 Pepperdine in game two. Blanton again to serve. Kill you. Off the block and out. Side out Long Beach. That's what here does so well. Finds hands. He reaches high, finds some fingertips, goes out of bounds. Pepperdine, however, starting to close in on the second game. Serving will be Stimpik from far away. Blanton pumps it to McCall. He goes to Grinberg, and Grinberg gets the side back immediately for Pepperdine. And again, uh, Long Beach really a step slow. They're just not getting their hands on balls. I've seen them dig normally. That ball should have been dug, was not. They're just a little bit out of step. Cameron serving. Long Beach State trying to respond. They battle at the net, keeping the ball alive. Is LeGrand, but two hits called on LeGrand. Well, that's a big break for Long Beach, I'll tell you. Ball was probably mishandled by Stinfick, was not called. LeGrand went up. He did attack the ball. If you block it, you can hit it again. But he swung at it, clearly. Good call by Wink Davenport. You can't swing at it twice. You can block it and then hit it. Nine serving 13. Side out for Pepperdine that just touched Knight from the back row. Tried to pull his hand in, couldn't get it in fast enough. Ball probably was heading out of bounds. Another break for Pepperdine. So Chip McCaw again serving for Pepperdine. 13 serving nine, a floater. Schroeder, that'll be returned by Pepperdine. Bad pass, and Hilliard took advantage of it. Side, side out, Long Beach State. See that bad pass and Hilliard was right there. Serving his shoulder. Nine serving 13. Pepperdine winning the first game, 15 13. Good time for Long Beach. They better make a move right now. Pepperdine's feeling this game. Sorensen, Hilliard, Hilliard there to challenge Sorensen. And Hilliard comes away with the one on one confrontation. That's all. Paying his buddy back a little bit. Sorensen and stuffed Hilliard earlier. This time Hilliard one on one gets Sorensen. And Long Beach breaks 10. The so Long Beach back to within three here in game number two. It is Pepperdine that calls the timeout. And we'll take this break. I have to tell you, I feel a little silly here. Yeah, well, I feel a little <laughs> silly too. Good. Uh, what time is good for you? Uh, 7.30. 7.30, perfect. Uh, wait a minute. 
what? How will I know who you are? Well, actually, I'll be the guy with the Volkswagen. Oh, great. That makes it easy. Okay. Terrific. Okay. I'll see you then. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. mistake about it. The Passat. It is a Volkswagen. Fans here have to, they can't cheer <laughs> too much because they know they're in for a long night. Well, Pom Pom's having a good time. Yes, yeah. but they conserve their energy. They are very wise in this. Orange and blue Pepperdine colors there, a Pepperdine fan. You don't want to burn yourself out. 10 serving 13, Pepperdine leading in game number two. Grinberg, that is in. That is called in. I think it was out again. I'm seeing the same thing Long Beach, because I'll tell you the truth, Jim. That's two balls I think we're out. Let's take a look at it, see if we can tell. Well, it's right on the line. It's a good call. I stand corrected. Ball was right on the line. Stimpik, back set. Knight finds the open spot in the back row. So side up for Long Beach State. Serving for Long Beach State is Zachary Small. Hilliard, little touch. Well, he was trapped all the way. Bad set, they dig a ball. That's a scoring opportunity. You just can't keep doing that. You're going to win games. Hey, look, at the, look on Ray Rattel's face. I just took a look at him. He's just shaking his head. I mean, this is not typical of Long Beach this year. Take a ball, usually they put that up and Hilliard buries it, but that was a bad set. Good uh, rip that time by Lyle. It's a good thing Lyle's came. He's having a big game. He's got 15 kills in the match. He's really doing a nice job. So Hilliard serving. Sorensen, that'll be returned. Good dig in the back row by Hilliard. They give it back to him, little touch. Great save by Sorensen. Blanton off That's of Schroeder. Great scouting by Pepperdine. They know Hilliard likes that little top spin shot. The off blocker comes around. That's Blanton what? They come around, they dig that ball up, the set's outside the Blanton. But they played the defense perfectly. Hilliard likes the top spin out of the back row. They rotated the off blocker into that dig, played it up. Good coaching. Still, it's 13-10 here in game two. Pepperdine leads Long Beach State. Pepperdine winning the first game 15-13. Jump serve Sorensen. Cut by Lyles. Stimpig sets. Knight. Good save by Sorensen. They battle at the net. Knight will be returned. McCall gives it to Cameron. No call. Rally continues. Clinton. And a yellow card on Pepperdine. They complained about the double. They didn't call it. Mark Duffy, not a happy camper about his player going over there after they scored a point. They scored a point, let it go. That's right. Uh, boy. Serving for game two now. Sorensen. That's out. So again, Long Beach State is backed up. They fought off Pepperdine in the first game before succumbing 15-13. And now they trail 14-10 in game two. Lyle serving for Long Beach State. Looking for the side out. Sorensen with a big whip. Well, Chip McCaw just moving, running this offense to perfection. Going in front of him, he sets it 25 feet behind his head to Sorensen. He powders it. Blanton serving. Small gives it to Stimpik. Quick back set for Knight. Off the block and out. Side out, Long Beach. So they fight off a game point again. What Long Beach needs is for Hilliard to get hot. They need him to get into this game, not having a big game. They need some tough serves. And for Hilliard to just take over like he can do. Sorensen blocked by Knight at the net. McCall back set. They go to Sorensen again. Blocked, but out. That's a side out for Pepperdine. Sorensen's the one really controlling this match. 24 kills in two games. 12 kills a game. That's outstanding. Absolutely. He's on a pace to break the NCAA record, actually, if they go four or five games. Cameron serving again for game number two. Stim fake, they give it to Small. That is in. I don't think either team's real happy with the lineman in that one corner there.
So Long Beach State will serve. 10 serving 14. Mike D'Alessandro, assistant for Long Beach, saying, geez, finally we got a call. He's just see it in his eyes. Knight will serve for Long Beach. Greenberg, that's long, and that's a point for Long Beach. But Long Beach keep digging these big holes and trying to shovel their way out, Jim. I don't know. I don't know if they can do it or not. 11 serving 14. Knight eyes it. Greenberg bumps it to McCall. They go to Sorensen. Oh, what a match Sorensen's having, I'll tell you. And great setting by McCaw. I mean, he's really fooling the Long Beach blockers. And I don't know how he can be fooled, but the guy with 25 kills, you got to take him out of the game. That's Ooh. long. What I'm saying is that a guy's got 25 kills in two games. You better get two blockers on him for a while. Take him out of the game. Make somebody else beat you. That's another point for Long Beach State. That time it was Zachary Small. Well, watch him go to Sorensen here out of the back row. That's who I'd say. <laughs> McCall goes to Sorensen, little touch. And they called the a side out, but let's see. The ball is outside the antenna. antenna. That's a point. 13-14. You get Sorensen's reaction there. He saw it. He knew it. Oh, he's not a happy camper. Pepperdine trying to slow things down will make a substitution here. Into the game for Pepperdine comes Greg Yernovich. Nice job on that. I wonder how you get that name out of there. Yeah. He's from Susquehanna, Pennsylvania. Oh, excellent spike that time by Grimsburg. So Pepperdine finally stops the bleeding. Serving for their fourth game point, Jim. 14-13. Long Beach State has been able to fight off Pepperdine and really get back in this second game. Long Beach State has to be perfect. Perfect. Small is blocked. They are not perfect. And they lose the second game. And Pepperdine now leads two games to none. That forces the number one team in the nation, the defending national champions, to win it in storybook fashion. They have to win three in a row. And we'll be back for that chapter right after this. If you could be the executive producer, would you choose to watch this great athlete? This one. This writer fulfill his dream. Or a team sport like basketball. Well, in the summer of 92, you can choose. Because in addition to NBC network coverage, there will be the Olympics triple cast. For the first time, you may choose from three different events on three separate cable channels for 15 days, 24 hours a day. Now you have the control to choose the event that you want to see. The Olympics Triple Cast. Call 1-800-OLYMPIC. A whole new way to see the games. For the first time in the history of the games, the Olympics Triple Cast lets you choose what you want to see, when you want to see it. For more information, call 1-800-OLYMPIC. Clanton starts game number three. And Small pumps it long. Long Beach State has been off all night. The court at times has been too small. It's been too narrow. And they have paid the price. They've lost the first two games, 15-13, 15-13. Hillier, that's blocked by Cameron, and that's a point for Pepperdine. Net violation. Two nothing, Pepperdine in game number three. Long Beach State reeling here. They've got to stop this mini boomlet at the start of game number three by Pepperdine. Bad pass. Pepperdine with the advantage. Good save by Stimping, and then the, now. It is a uh, side out for Long Beach State, net violation. You always look for the guy that points to the other team first. He's the one that always nets. Here it is. Cameron starts pointing right away. They netted, they netted. You know they're going to call it on you. Long Beach State responding. Schroeder off the block, but there is Blanton to McCaw. Short set Cameron. 
Stimfig is there. Schroeder down the middle comes Lyles. That's blocked. Good save by Small. Stimfig gives it to Hilliard. That's long. Well, Brent Hilliard really off in this game. Not carrying the load, not doing what you expect out of Brent Hilliard. Now, yeah, this you'd say uh, Tom Sorensen has a real good chance of the U.S. team, I'll tell you. Good point. Hilliard, that's off the block again. Pepperdine responding. Sorensen, good dig in the back row by Stenfick to Lyle. Knight gets it over, but Long. Now that's a point for Pepperdine. A lot of errors by Long Beach. Every one of those errors, you need two to three good plays to make up for it. Stanford beat Hawaii in three straight games. UCLA over USC in three straight. Northridge over Santa Barbara in three straight. And now Pepperdine with a chance to do the same thing to Long Beach State. Something really totally unexpected. Well, Jim, I'm not surprised that Pepperdine can win games against this team. I'm surprised they're up 2-0, and I'd be very, very surprised if they won in three straight. Marv Dunphy, great job by his coaching staff. See Andy Reid right next to him there. Harlan Cohen, the setting coach, doing a great job with Chip McCall. I'll tell you, he's running a marvelous attack tonight. Schroeder serves. And that ball rejected by Hilliard, but off the block from Grimberg. Side out Pepperdine, serving for Pepperdine is McCall. McCall floats it across. Lyles, Cameron bumps it to McCall, goes cross court. Grimberg, little touch. Saved in the back row by Blanton. Grimberg, good dig by Knight. And right there is Legrand. And no, they say uh, Pepperdine. Well, that was knitted. definitely definitely Legrand as he goes through. Ball's dug up right on top, and then he goes up and just rakes it with his hand after he hits it. Good call. Side out to four, Long Beach State. They go cross court Sorensen. That'll be returned. Good dig by Knight. Here's Lyles off the block and out. That's a point for Long Beach State. This you can see Lyles carrying the, the load for Long Beach right now. 16 kills. Hilliard with only 14. I say only. That's not a good night for Brent Hilliard. Smalls just gets it over the net. McCaw quickly to Sorensen. Sorensen off of Schroeder. Sorensen again. You talk about this match. You'd have to say Pepperdine has been successful in taking, uh, what do I want to say, in taking Hilliard out of the game, and Sorensen has not been taken out by any means by Long Beach. So that's the difference in the match so far. The two stars, Sorensen having a big match. They say great players have great games in high drama, high stakes games. That's exactly what this is, and that's exactly what Sorensen is doing. Side out Long Beach State serving for Long Beach State will be Hilliard. Hilliard has been super all year long, and that's an accolade that maybe is overused, but in his case, it applies. Miss hits by LeBrand, but he keeps it alive. Lyles. McCaw gets it across advantage now. Long Beach State back set. Hilliard, that's in. Well, right now, you'd have to say Hill Hilliard is the leading candidate for most viable player this year in the league, and Sorensen right behind him, maybe uh, stating a case. Two serving three. Hilliard jump serve. Blanton to McCaw. Sorensen again. Nice easy play by McCaw. He just sets a five behind the little sweep set. Sorensen just goes up over the top of the block and down. Marvelous hitting. Great form. Lee LeGrand serving for Pepperdine. Lyles Cameron was at the net that time. Knight. Right there is Grinberg. Great dick by Grinberg. They go cross course. Blanton. Little dink shot. And that's a point for Pepperdine. For nearly 100 years, hockey's greatest players have waged heroic battles for the right to raise hockey's Stanley Cup. Watch 16 teams converge on one goal as Sports Channel Los Angeles presents the Stanley Cup playoffs only on the new Sports Channel LA starting this April. And serving for Pepperdine here in game number three. Pepperdine leading this match two games to nine. 15-13, 15-13. Small bumps it to Stinford. 
And that time, Lyle gets it down in front of the block by Cameron and Blanton. Well, it's a good thing Lyles came along. He's really carrying the load offensively right now. 17 kills right at that time, squeezes it through the block. Sorensen. That one's outside the antenna. One of the few errors Sorensen's made tonight. Three serving four, point for Long Beach State. Lyles with the jump serve. That's long. Just another error by Long Beach, unbelievable. Pepperdine. Six service errors. And let's see, 21 hitting errors. So that's a lot of errors in two games. Sorensen serving for Pepperdine. Shorter blocked at the net. Stim fake. That's handled by Sorensen. Blanton gets it over. Great dig in the back row by Lyle. Another dig. That time by Grinberg. And a mishandled ball. Too bad. Great rally going on there. Legrand, uh, Chip McCaw that time. He was ready with Sorensen behind him. Just had the ball stick in his hand. A ballet of cat-like moves that time on the part of both teams. Wait, well, Pepperine is showing me. Marv thought he was. Marv Dunphy thought they were faster, a little quicker than Long Beach. And definitely, I think he's right. I'm watching this team there, very quick defensively, reaching out. Marv Dunphy making notes, uh, making a little drawing a court there. I think. Uh, let's see. We got a hit cross court here or there. Three serving four. Glance into McCall. Quickly to Cameron. Cameron puts it down at the feet of Lyle. Well, a great pass off a tough serve. Perfect pass. McCaw goes up, but ran over the top. Nice, hard hit. Blanton will now serve for Pepperdine. They lead 4-3 in game number three. They lead in this match two games to none. That time Schroeder with the big blast in front of LeGrand. He of the intensity gets up early. Block does not get in front of him. He just crams the ball down. Great hit by Schroeder. Little touch and in by Cameron. Likes the wing diggers. They have to see both blockers move into the middle. Three blockers up. The wings have to cheat in so they can get that ball up. But a nice hard tip in the middle. Long Beach State reacting now. As Schroeder tries to encourage them, they've pounded balls into the floor in frustration. Wink Davenport looking on. Cameron will serve for Pepperdine. Small bump to the stick first. Schroeder, that's saved by Clanton in the back row. Cameron gets it across. Stimpfig again goes cross court. Hilliard, good dig by Cameron. McCaw. LeGrand gets it across. Schroeder. Schroeder with a bullet. Very important side outs right now for Long Beach. They're struggling. Not playing that well, but they're staying in contact. Only down one, three, four. That's a big hit. You can't give up many more points down two games. So Schroeder of Long Beach State will serve. Really, Long Beach has, start got to, has got to start putting pressure on Pepperdine. Ray Rattel sitting right there. He knows that. They're not putting enough pressure on them. Make them hit some balls out. Make them feel the tight collar. Right now, it's Long Beach that's playing tight. Schroeder serving knuckleball over the net. Grimberg, they battle at the net, and that time it was small. Able to win the battle against McCall. Having called Small's name too often, he, he has to get into the match as, long as, as well as the rest of the Long Beach team. Sorensen again. 28th kill again, right side, out of the back row where a number of his kills come from. Goes cross court. You have to take that away. He keeps hitting cross court. Make him hit the line out of the back row. You have to move that block in. See if he can hit line. Hilliard was there, but he turned out to be only token opposition that time. Well, he's hitting cross court 90% of the time. You have to take that away from him. Advantage Pepperdine. Sorensen off the block. Blanton backs up, saves it. There is McCaw. And a great block by Small right down the middle off of LeGrand. So Zach Small coming alive in the front row with a couple of big blocks. There's a set in the middle. Small right there gets it with his left hand. Roof. Is that woof woof? Might be the talking dog. My dog can talk. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Oh, who played center field for the New York game? Roof. Roof. Terrible, huh? I'll let you get away with it. I like it. It's cute. Only one or two of those are fast. Not only, not only is it cute, but it's very old. Very, very. 
and also what's on top of the house. You know that whole trilogy that went on in that joke. Sorensen blocks. Sorensen keeps it alive. No, they say lift. Good call. Dwayne Cameron tried to cover, but he was late. Opened his hand up, sort of flicked the ball up. It really has been a well-officiated match. You know, we the teams have been complaining, but we ain't seen it on replay. They haven't missed many calls. Here it is. He just flicks it up. Good call. Wing Davenport. Yep, number one official. So Long Beach State playing back to the wall volleyball here into the game for Pepperdine, number 14, Ian Clark. He's been a part, part time starter this year, so he's not a, unused to being in the game. And to this match for the second time tonight. Grinberg off the block and out. Sign out for Pepperdine. Maybe to give Lee LeGrand a little bit of a break. He's played very well tonight. I think it's one of the differences. He's had a very steady match that's helped Pepperdine tremendously. Grinberg. Fantastic jump serve. And now they say football. Yeah, he did. He definitely stepped about six inches inside the end line. You're allowed to jump into the court, but you must stay behind the line when you jump. I haven't seen that call in a long time. No. Hilliard, his jump serve. Got by Grinberg in the back row. And a great double block. Really what I think Long Beach has to do, and they're starting to do it, serve tougher, let their block get a few balls. See, that's a high outside set. Both blockers right there. That's the big point, but the serve starts it out. Credit Knight with that block. McCaw setting for Sorensen. That's number 29. Well, I said make it hit line. He showed he's got that shot. I actually mean in the back row. He had to block it straight up in the front row, take his cross court when he's in the back row. Ian Clark serving. Stem think they just get it across to Lyle. The advantage now, Pepperdine. McCaw, Sorensen right down in front of Schroeder, and that's a point for Pepperdine. Another mistake for Long Beach State. It is. They're making a lot of mistakes in this match, and it's very uncharacteristic. Sorensen on the X, second, second man around, hits it straight down, 30 kills. Five serving six. Hilliard, that will be returned. McCaw, Sorensen again, that's number 30. Well, we saw the man who holds the NCAA record for kills, Dave Goss, in the first game. He had 55 in a match this year. That was a five-game match. Sorensen's already got 31 kills, rolling in the, the game. Middle, the middle early part of game three. This goes four or five. He could break the record for sure. Easy. The way he's played. Six, six here in game number three. Lyles blocked. Sorensen but out. Sorensen was up along with Cameron. And when Pepperdine, even when they make mistakes, they look at each other and they say, you know, we just missed that. On the other side of the net, Long Beach State, when they make mistakes, they say, hey, what's happening? Yeah, they're definitely looking around right now, looking for help. Sorensen, that's blocked nicely. Cameron, that's handled by Knight. Knight comes offensive. Get the ball down, Cameron. Long Beach for their scoring opportunities is not taking advantage of it. Pepperdine is. They get the ball up, good play, just slaps the ball down, can't not be played, but Long Beach had an easily dug ball. They set for the point, they just didn't get it. Sorensen with the jump serve. Good fake Knight gets it over. Great dig in the back row by Clark. Oh my. That paint brush goes down again. Jimmy dipped that thing a little bit of a little bit of paint and got it right over the block. Side out for Long Beach. Serving his stim fig, and he is serving from almost down, almost out of the gym. I mean, he is testing the limits. Because that, that scoreboard really hangs down. He can't really get a lot of loft here. Good serve. Lance to McCaw. Sorensen, but long. And the antenna again, out of bounds. Ball just set outside. That's what I'm saying. Make Sorensen hit the line out of the back row. He's made a couple errors on that side. Take away his cross court, see if he has a line shot. So that's a point for Long Beach State. They lead 7 6 here in game number three. You have to make those adjustments during a game. You have to see where a guy's hurting you. As a blocker, move in. Marv Dunphy looking at the offense here. Sorensen. Well, they did take away his cross court that time. He just hit over. Sorensen. 
Richardson really playing on a different level in this match between Long Beach and Pepperdine. Great uh, dig by Sorensen. Long Beach State trying to respond. Schroeder is blocked at the net, but they get it over. Knight. Now they are questioning that call. Somebody came out of the back row. Now he was in the front row. They went back to serve. He just rotated back. Good dig in the back row by Hilliard. That's what got him. He was fired up when he came up. Maybe that'll get Hilliard going. He has not been real fired up in this match. Type serving for Long Beach State. Sorensen. Boy, again, Hilliard jumped out. You just got to give him. Don't give him the seam. He's looking for the seam, the high seam. Cross court, take that away, make him hit line. Knight, great dig by Cameron. Shoulder. Not a net, though. We had a net. Pepperdine in the net. They say that Clark was in the net that time. Well, I thought he said number five, but I think you're right. It's 15. Couldn't be 15. Oh, well. Clark and just tickles some fingers on the block on the other side and drops in. So it remains seven for Long Beach State, six for Pepperdine during game number three. So McCall getting ready to serve. Mark Dumphy chatting with his setter, telling him, set this play next time. <laughs> the crowd sort of helped that one. Miss Mangled Balls, they say, at the uh, parlance of the beach. So sign out Long Beach. That was ugly, Jim. It was. Zachary Small now serving. Grinberg gets the side back for Pepperdine. Grinberg having a good match himself. 20 kills so far in the match. So he's carrying up his end. He and Sorensen, the two big guns, definitely doing a job. Grinberg again serving. And Stimpik just swatted that ball off balance, and it went in. That was a nice play by Stimpik, running along the net. He's a natural right-hander. He's reached up, sort of roundhoused it into the back corner. Hilliard, jump serve. Go, 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 go. Sorensen, a little touch. Stimpik goes to Hilliard. The diving dig by Cameron. They battle at the net. Keeps it alive. Stimpik. And hitting the ball long is Zachary Small. Well, Pepperdine's keeping the ball alive, and Long Beach is the one making the hitting errors. Nice rally by both teams. You just have to keep the ball in in that kind of situation. You don't try and hit a great shot. Just hit it in. Ian Clark serving now for Pepperdine. Six serving seven in game three. Pepperdine 15-13, 15-13 so far in this match. The winner will go automatically into the final four. Hilliard. Been relatively quiet in this game. Getting a little bit fired up finally, Brent Hilliard. Normally a pretty quiet player. Goes up, pounds the ball by the block. Great angle. And does he want it? He better get, in, he better get inspired. Miles with the jump serve. Blanton. That's off the block. Side out Pepperdine. We have been frozen for a while at 7-6 Long Beach State in game number three. Sorensen, jump serve. Good pass. Stimpik goes cross court. Schroeder off the block. Grinberg, McCaw, Sorensen. They took away his cross court. Finally closed the hole and stuffed it straight down. That's what I'm talking about. Watch Schroeder move in. Jumps into the inside of the court. He could even go in farther, I think, on that play. We're tied at seven. Wait, there was a net. 
There was a net. Killier. Sorensen. Blanton. That was blocked but out by Stenfick, and that's a point for Pepperdine. And Pepperdine has now assumed the lead here in game number three. Ray Rattel, the coach of Long Beach State, comes off the bench and calls a timeout. Grab a seat. Hold on tight for some of the wildest, breathtaking rodeo action you've ever seen. You thought you'd seen it all. Well, we've jam-packed rodeo bloopers, too, with the most spectacular, gut-wrenching, side-splitting rodeo action ever. Bareback, saddle bronc, calf roping, steer wrestling, and the most dangerous of all, bull riding. You'll cringe as the meanest rodeo bulls ever wreak havoc with the world's top cowboys. Only 1995, Rodeo Bloopers 2 is jam-packed with sensational, bone-shattering, hair-raising rodeo action that'll blow you away. Guaranteed or your money back. Here's how to order. Call toll-free now, 1-800-245-5317. That's 1-800-245-5317. Or send 1995 and $3 shipping and handling. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Allow 10 days for delivery. See the story of this game, Pepperdine, 15-13, 15-13 in the first two games. And they lead 8-7 in game number three. Scored two, two straight Sorry. points off his serve, Jeff. Good and timeout. That's what you do it for. You try and break that rhythm. Comes out, and that's the serve. That's exactly what happened. So Stimpik will serve. Way back. Mishandled ball, good call. And that's that deep serve. Watch how far back Stimpik goes. Now he can go back as far as the uh, end of the court. He's back almost as far as he can go. There he is, almost out of our camera view. Blanton bumps it to McCall. Sorensen gets it across. Long Beach State. Down the middle comes Lyle off the block. Ian Clark with a good save in the back row. Grimberg. Nice Blanton. Stimpick down the middle. Lyle's off the block and in. That's a point. Long Beach State leads 9-8. Out of the pipe. Lyle's doing a great job tonight. When called upon to score points. Pipe right down the middle. It's these three blockers. Little pinball off the block and down. Stimpick again from far away. Nine serving eight. Long Beach is just letting Pepperdine stay way too close in this game, though. Down two games to none. They'd like to run it out right here and not make it be a call by the referee or a bad lineman call. That time Cameron got up there, missed hit the ball, and it went wide. Another point for Long Beach State. They now lead 10-8. Remember, Long Beach State has got the story booked their way to victory. They are playing back to the wall volleyball. They lost the first two games. Timeout has been called. We shall return. The hotter the fire and the harder the blows, the stronger the metal becomes. You know, it's that kind of hard work and perseverance that's forged Great Western into one of the strongest banks in the nation. For over 100 years now, they've put their sweat and skill into creating a safe, secure place for your money. Great Western Bank. They just don't make them like that anymore. No wonder they can say, we'll always be there. They want to see exciting volleyball. The World League of Volleyball, 1992 schedule. Right here at the Brent Center, USA, Japan, San Diego Sports Arena, May 16th and 17th in China. USSR, the best teams in the world preparing for the Olympic Games. USA, they're definitely a medal contender. Come out and see them. USSR. Or CIS, or United, or they have a lot of names there now. So the side out works for Pepperdine. Blanton now will serve, eight serving 10. Long Beach State desperately trying to register a game win here in this match. Pepperdine now with the advantage. That time it was Grinberg. That's a point for Pepperdine. Nine serving 10. Well, a margin was set by McCaw, spins out of his hands. They let it go. Big set, big hit on the outside. Left-handed Grinberg goes up and pounds the ball. I love those lefties. Of course, I was left handed. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something about him, huh? Blanton just over the net. Hilliard off the block, but Blanton is there in the back row. He's been in that back row all game long. Sorensen. That ball will be returned by Long Beach State. Small. 
and a dig by Clark. And somebody in the net, I believe it was McCall, side out for Long Beach State. Knight will now serve. Well, Long Beach really had a, a very lucky it's not tied 10 10. Two bad passes out of the timeout. They're just making a lot of errors, letting Pepperdine hang right into this game. Grinberg, long point, long beach. Bad pass, set that up. 22 hitting errors for Pepperdine, 23 for Long Beach. Not the cleanest match you'll ever see. That is long. Side out Pepperdine. They trail now 11 9 in game number three. The eighth service error for Long Beach. A lot of error, a lot of errors, but you find that in the big games. Just over the net, excellent serve by Cameron Schroeder, rejected, rejected by Grinberg. Grinberg right on top of this play, gets his hands over, snaps it down, Schroeder having a lot of trouble hitting tonight. Cameron again serving, 10 serving 11, Schroeder gets it, there's Blanton again on that back row, Sorensen! That will be returned, excellent dig by Stimfig. Sorensen again, Stimfig gets out of the way and it's long. A great, two great plays by Stimfig. One, the one-handed dig as he goes down to the ground, the other ducking out of the way, having the presence of mind to let that ball go long. 11 serving 10, Schroeder serves. Pepperdine trying to get the side back. And that went off of Hilliard from Grinberg. Alon Grinberg really doing a great job. Out of Batyan, Israel, a sub, uh, suburb of Tel Aviv. So McCall from Tulsa, Oklahoma. 22 kills for Grinberg, having a nice night himself. He served down the middle. Hilliard, that's rejected. That time the set wasn't right, the pass wasn't right, and the spike really didn't have a lot on it. Well, they have really, hardly anything. Haven't really connected all night long, and it's hurting them now. And now we're tied at 11, just over the net again. Lyles. That's dug by Cameron. McCall will set. Grinberg. That's blocked. Grinberg looking, gets it across. Advantage now, Long Beach State. Stimfig goes cross court. Lyles, another dig by Cameron. Grinberg to Sorensen. The rally continues. Excellent rally. Lyles, and he finds the open court. Lyles has been the big man for Long Beach tonight. 20 kills. Shoots it to the outside. One on one. Middle block of the lady goes right over the top. Zachary Small now serving for Long Beach State. We are tied at 11 in game three. McCaw setting Grinberg. Again, right through the hole. Leaving that hole, the blocker jumped out. Grinberg found a not good blocking by Long Beach. Not smart blocking. They're not blocking well, and Pepperdine's taking advantage of it. Grinberg serving now for Pepperdine. Down the line, wide and long. Went away from his jumper. He's got a real good jump serve. Went to the floater and floated out of bounds wide. So Hilliard now will serve for Long Beach State. Jump serve. Cut by Blanton. McCaw Sorensen off the block. And this is the good scoring rotation for Long Beach. They need to get at least two points in this rotation to win this game, I think. Off the block that time and in. As though it's 12-11. Blocked right State. up again, taking away his cross court. They block a point. Big serve. Ian Clark just got Whoa. up on it. That's lucky. Hilliard tried to go for that ball. He missed it. He fanned the ball was out of bounds. 13-11, Long Beach, and we'll be back. Is weekend car waxing driving you crazy? Introducing Space Age Formula RE Polymer Car Protection. A 20-minute application lasts months and months, and it's the easiest protection you'll ever apply. Hi, I'm John Parkin, and stay tuned right now for a free gift from RE. Ari is more than just a shine. It's real protection with DuPont Teflon. Look, this lighter fluid's on fire. Those burn marks, they just wipe away. Want more? What could be worse than hydrochloric acid eating right through this piece of metal? But it can't break through that Ari protection. Even road tar can't hurt it. And spray paint is no match for Ari. Just a few simple wipes and it's gone. 
What about an old car? You can't get any older than this. But Ari brings back that showroom luster. Order now and we'll include Ari Shield free of charge. Apply it to your windshield for super clear vision. It's great for your headlights, too. We applied Ari Shield to half of this windshield and the rain runs down for clear vision. Even a fire hose full blast in this ferocious water cannon makes no impression. Look, see through vision on the treated side only. Mud thrown at the windshield, no problem. Just look how it clears on one side only and one application lasts up to six months. But wait, order now and you'll get Ari Shine. It brings new dash to your dashboard and makes your radials radiate. Plus, you get this super towel that drinks up water like a thirsty camel. Even spills on your carpet come up clean and dry. Super towel just lifts them out. You'll get the complete Ari Protection Kit, a $30 value for just $19.95. Here's how to order. To order your complete RA Protection Kit, a $30 value for just $19.95 plus $450 shipping and handling, use your credit card and call 1-800-522-7600 or send your check or money orders to RE Car Polish, P.O. Box 7872, Beverly Hills, California, 90212. That's 1-800-522-7600. Call now. Men's Volleyball, the National Championships at Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana. If you have one information, call 317-285-1474. That's April 24th and 5th, the NCAA National Championship. 13-11, Long Beach. We're mentioning Ian Clark getting his hand on it. That ball went out of bounds. Point for Long Beach State, serving as Hillier. Pepperdine trying to get the side back. They go to Sorensen, and they do. 35th kill in three games. That's a phenomenal evening. Serving is Ian Clark, 11, serving 13 in a very long game three. Hilliard blocks. Small is there to return it. Lyle, Cameron again handling that. To get it to Blanton. Finally, the double block is up. And Knight. Able to reject it. Well, not a lot of stuff for Long Beach tonight. Alan Knight, his third one, he goes up, just gets his left hand on that ball, stuffs it down. Big side out. Jump serve wild. Blanton to McCall. Back set Sorensen. That's off the block and out. Side out Pepperdine. Pepperdine wins this game. They are in the final four. Long Beach State able to win this game. We go to a game four. Jump serve, Sorensen, that's in. Lyles, Tim Fig, and a big pound by Knight. Thirteen serving 11. Tim Fig from far away, ready to serve for Long Beach State. Sorensen into the net. Ball and died, never really got out there. He's got to learn to keep that ball in. That's what he really didn't have a chance of hitting. He has to learn to keep that ball into the deep corner. 14-11, now Long Beach State serving for game number three. And they've had trouble with this deep serve from Stimson. He's gone deep and they have had trouble with his serve. LeGrand comes back into the game. Good slice is Ian Clark. Good substitution here to slow things down a little bit. Stimson serves. Sorensen into the net again. That is a game for Long Beach State. So the beach comes back to win game three. 15-11 is the final, and the match will carry over to a fourth game. Sports Channel has a great sports lineup that features NHL hockey, Notre Dame sports, college football, basketball from around the nation, and much more. All as part of our standard cable service. But if you want to watch 70 home games from the Los Angeles Dodgers and California Angels, plus games from the L.A. Clippers in the Stanley Cup Finals, call now and subscribe to our premium service. Because if you only have Sports Channel Basic, you're only seeing half the picture. Why not get the whole picture? Call 1-800-CABLE-UP to order the new Sports Channel Los Angeles. We can see right away the big thing, a lot of errors. Both teams hitting terribly percentage-wise, 154, 153. So it was the hitting that fell apart for both teams, and Long Beach pulled out game number three. So Long Beach now has registered a game in this match as we go into game number four. 
Long Beach needs to keep the momentum going. Small roof. Cameron was there. Cameron will take credit for that. Well, Small has really struggled this match. Only five kills. They need better production from him. Good blocking by Pepperdine. Stimpick goes to Hilliard off the block, and there's Blanton again. And that back row. Grinberg, however, is rejected by Schroeder and also Knight. Alan Knight gets his left hand on this ball all the way. Schroeder sets the block perfectly. Knight gets it with his left hand. Good block, his fourth block of the match. So Knight will serve. We are in game number four, and we have been here a while. The first two games, Pepperdine, 15-13, 15-13, finally 15-11, Long Beach State. Grimberg off of Knight's hand. Long Beach State claiming that Grinberg threw the ball instead of really hit it on the first attempt that was returned. So no score, side out for Pepperdine. Serving for Pepperdine is McCall. He has played a marvelous game tonight. Again, a rejection. Lyle saving in the back row, Schroeder hitting. There's Blanton. McCall will go to Grinberg. Knight gets it over. And now Pepperdine responding. Grinberg. Small. And it is side out, Long Beach. Well, I think it hit him too. Pepperdine is saying the ball hit him after he hit it. It was blocked, hit the hitter, went out of bounds. But they don't get the call. We're going to see another yellow card come out of Wink Davenport's pocket. Yellow's a warning, Jim. It's not a point. Another warning, you get a point taken away or given away, given to the other team. I agree with him. I think it hit him after it was blocked, too. But <laughs> I'm not up on the stand. That's Wink's law. Well, Tam McCall, all of a sudden, had been pushing the set to the left side, about four feet outside the antenna and fast. Watch how far outside this ball shoots. It's way outside, cannot get to it, stuffs it into the net. Green a point. Is that a point for Long Beach? I, that I thought that was. I thought that was. I think, I Long think Beach, it was, too. Long Beach should have a point, but it has not been registered yet. Well, I'm sure it was. Oh, there it goes. I, knew. Finally it goes I look up there, and I said, wait a minute. So, Grinberg, this is that jump serve, that left-handed jump serve. Well, that's a great effort, though. Dwayne Cameron made a great move, turned around, got one hand on that ball. Pepperline plays great defense, very active. Watch, his ball comes off the block. He has to change direction, get his arm out, dive, put the landing gear down. Wheels go down. He lands safe, but the ball goes into the stands. Too bad, but a nice effort. These two teams have been playing for more than two hours now with uh, the great majority not being substituted. Well, Altea Sorensen has already hit about 80 balls. Only in three games, his arm could be starting to fall off pretty soon. That's a point for Long Beach. Two. Serving nil here in game number four. That's off of Lyles and out. Side out for Pepperdine. Long Beach is used to playing long matches. You can't leave them out of the game because they're used to siding out, siding out, siding out until you start making mistakes. Now Pepperdine has to be able to go with them like a, a distance heavyweight fight. The ground on the serve. At that time, Lyles getting the ball in front of the block. Went down and fumble block by Torrance and then Cameron. So but Hilliard will serve for Long Beach State. If you're willing to stand and slug it out with the champion, you better be able to go the distance because Long Beach can go long, drawn-out matches. We'll see if Pepperdine can, too. Have to get it over. Small hits it, but long. So that side out for Pepperdine. Both sides trying to encourage each other. Both sides trying to keep up each other's spirit. But remember, Long Beach State has got to win here in game four. Otherwise, they go back into the tournament. What a rip by Knight. Knight's 17th kill, doing a nice job out of the middle. Stimfig over his shoulder. Knight gets up early, extends his arm. Stimfig puts a right in his hand. Lyle serving for Long Beach State 2. Nothing Long Beach State here in game four. And it is side out for Pepperdine. It has been a battle of attrition. We said very little substitutions. Most of these players have been going more than two hours. And the intensity has not dropped off at all. Hilliard, Blanton again in that back row. Sorensen, 
And Long Beach State couldn't find the ball that time. Schroeder. They got the hand on the block, and then the ball disappeared. I'll tell you right now, Long Beach has to feel fortunate to even be in this game because Hilliard has not had a Hilliard-like match. He's getting dug in the back row. Blanton standing back there and just saying, keep hitting it at me. And he keeps hitting it right to him. He's digging it up every time. Hilliard. Grinberg. That went off the fist of Small and up into the crowd. That's Hilliard. another point, and Hilliard. we are tied at Hilliard two. is really struggling in this match, I'll tell you. So Blanton serving. Hilliard. There's Blanton again. What a great dig by Blanton. But they don't handle the pass near the net. I'll get it. You take it. Uh-oh. Nobody got it. Dave Blanton's done a great job in the back row, on his, especially on Hilliard. Goes up one hand, gets it up perfectly. Nobody played it for him. Side out to Pepperdine. That time Cameron getting the ball where he wanted it, and now Cameron will serve. Well, Pepperdine's starting to steady out again. They have a little problem there. McCaw, only a freshman setter, got into sort of a little bit of a funk setting. He was shooting the ball too far outside the end of the last game beginning of this game, but now he's stabilized out again. I like the way you described him, though, beyond his years. Planted, planted with another one. Well, there was a net, no doubt about it. Long Beach State able to scramble to get it back. Now Pepperdine responds, and that is a point. Got the ball down in front of Lyles. 3-2, Pepperdine in game four. Oh, big break for Pepperdine. It was definitely a net on the very first play. The block was not called. They took advantage of it. Nice. I'll tell you, Long Beach is starting to think it's us against the world. You know, I mean, they're really feeling that way right now. Sometimes that's good, but all of a sudden, you're, you're looking at the rest for every call. You're thinking everything's against you. You lose a lot of matches that way. Little joust at the net going on. And Grinberg, that left-hander. The left-hander's best shot on the left side is down the line. You have to probably block that ball, make him hit cross-court, and dig him cross-court. 27 Three. kills. Big night for Grinberg. Big night. You're right. Three serving two. Long Beach State. Knight. There, he went right through the block that time. Grinberg was up. Also, LeGrand up. Well, and been, Knight was able to just get it right in between the blocks. It's been and Lyles have really been carrying the offensive load. Very unusual for Long Beach, but showing they have other players other than Hilliard, that's for sure. Long Beach State with the advantage here. Back set, Hilliard. It goes over the net again, Long Beach State. That's blocked by LeGrand, but out. You know, I think they've got to keep going to Hilliard, though, because they need him to get up around 25 to 30 kills to win this match. 4-3, Long Beach State. Schroeder getting ready to serve again. Long Beach State has been playing back to the wall volleyball since the end of game two. When Pepperdine able to win the first two games, 15-13, 15-13. What Long Beach State has to do here is win game four and then take it to the rally scoring in game number five. Pepperdine scrambling here to get it across advantage Long Beach State. Small. Zach Small not getting a lot of action, hitting wise, goes up, balls all low, but he extends nicely down, point for Long Beach. And a miss hit. It should be six. I'm sure the score should be six right now. They have five, but it should be six. Floater serve, the bottom drops right out of it. Can't be paid. Look at that knuckleball. Whoa, nice shot. Scoreboard has 5 3. It should be 6 3. I'm sure it's 6. I'm positive it's 6. I three. went off of night. Back row blocker, they're going to call right now. The score is wrong, I think, and nobody from Long Beach has said a word. Grinberg serves again. Time. Pepperdine gets the point. Now the scoreboard has 5 5. 
I think nobody from Long Beach coaching staff is questioning the score. I think it should be 5-6, but nobody said a word. Knight. That's off the block and out. That's a side out for Long Beach. Now they finally, uh, like Ray Rattel gets up off the bench and says it should be 6-5. Oh, well, they say it's 5-5. Five, five. I thought it was six, Jim, you thought it was six. Half the Long Beach bench thought it was six, but assistant coach Mike Delisandro told me he had five. I can't count, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Side out Pepperdine, Sorensen. What was it? I mean, there was a play and then there was a serve. They say, so I'm almost sure it should be well. Doesn't matter now. They question it, the official score said five, five. Lee Legrand serving for Pepperdine. Hilliard. Grinberg was there, but a net violation. Cameron and Annette, as he turned around, came down, hit it with his elbow. No side Hilliard, maybe to get back into this game, he needs to get his serve going, get something going, so he can really catch fire. We are tied at five. Cameron throwing that ball down. It appeared as if he threw the ball down, but it was legal. He did throw it down, but they let it go. That's really more, more a point. Pepperdine now. Blanton off the block and out. Demfig was up. Blanton able to get it through him. Ten kills for Blanton, but doing a great job digging. That's where he has been effective tonight. 6-5. Pepperdine, Hilliard, that will be returned. Great dig by Sorensen. Hilliard to Stimfig, they go cross court. Lyles, Lyles rips it to the floor. Well, Lyles has been the Terminator on the outside, not Hilliard tonight. Shoots that outside, one on one. Goes outside the blocker down, nice hit by Lyles. Lyles with the jump serve. Cameron, off of Lyles in the back row, side out Pepperdine. So Blanton serving for Pepperdine. Six serving five. Then fake sets. Schroeder, and the block was waiting for him. Cameron and McCall. Seven five Pepperdine. Blanton serving again. Hilliard down the middle. Good save by LeGrand. Grinberg off the block. That's a point. Well, it's Pepperdine is just digging the lights out of here. That's all there is to it. Every time he hits, the ball's coming up. Eight five Pepperdine here in game number four. Timeout again has been called by Ray Rattel. Sorensen, 41 kill. Played the season high as 44 this year, so he'd be right there. Blanton serving for Pepperdine. They lead 8-5. Serving after the time I've called by Long Beach State. Stimfig will go to Hilliard. There's Blanton in the back row. He's done it again. That ball hit the ground. I guarantee you that ball hit the ground. And the ball is in, and that's a point for Pepperdine. And Sorensen is living. I guarantee you that ball hit And the there's the red card. Well, Stroder went after Wade Davenport. He's going to get a red card, but I guarantee you that ball hit the ground in the back. Yeah, I, I misspoke. I said Sorensen. It was not. It was Schroeder who was living. And Schroeder may have been ejected. Call it down. I'll call it down. It's a side out. Listen. Listen to me, Say that to me. What did he say? He 
He doesn't say. He didn't say to he you. He doesn't swear to me. Oh, Schrader doesn't me. swear at me. No, I'm sorry. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. All right, Rose. The ball was down. Okay. The ball was down. So he was down. Very simple to explain. The ball was down. He saw it as hitting the ground. Let's take a look. I'm sure the ball hits the ground. I saw it all the way. It bounced up. Bounces. He short hops it, gets it up. But then Shorter went after Wink Davenport. So it was a side out. Now the red card gives a side out back to Pepperdine. So it's Pepperdine serve. Score should be eight, I think, Mike D'Alessandro saying. It's back to eight. Nice call by the assistant coach. His job is to watch the score. We thought it was wrong earlier. He said no, he had five. So now it's all straightened out. The ball hit the ground. Side out. There was a red card to Schroeder. That's a side out. So Pepperdine starts again. And Schroeder, happily for Long Beach State, remains in the game. And Wink Davenport said he doesn't swear to me. And he shouldn't. <laughs> Schroeder puts it down. And Schroeder celebrated in front of Davenport, but not long. Well, Wink Davenport won't take it, I'll tell you right now. you got to be careful with Wink. He'll throw you out of the game. Five serving eight. Stimford, oh, what a dig by Stimford. Down the middle aisle. That will be returned by Pepperdine. McCaw goes to Grinberg. That's blocked by, Sch by uh, Schroeder. Schroeder is fired up. Maybe that little uh, thing will get Long Beach fired up. We'll see. Schroeder definitely is fired. Nice block. Ball was on the outside of the antenna. He took the inside move, blocked it, and is he fired? You bet. Six serving eight now. Long Beach State trailing by a pair. Knight serving for Long Beach State. Grimberg. Or uh, LeGrand. LeGrand, I should say. Lee LeGrand, number seven. Right there. So McCaw now serving for Pepperdine. Sorensen blocked by LeGrand. He will set up again. This time Hilliard. Hilliard gets the side out for Long Beach State. Johnny Hilliard's fourth kill in this game. He really has to turn it up a notch right now. I mean, there is tomorrow for this team if they lose, but they'd rather have tomorrow being in the NCAA tournament. Grinberg, that's off the block. Ball skies up over us. Side out, Pepperdine. Now, Grinberg's getting up in the high rent district. 29 kills for him, 41 for Sorensen. That's a lot of hitting between two players. That's Grinberg. what you want your best two players to do in a big match. Grinberg serving. Lyles off the block. That side out for Long Beach State, off the block yeah, and out. You have to give a lot of credit to Long Beach State because Pepperdine has taken their best player and probably the best hitter in the country in college out of this game, and that is here. He has not been a factor. Small serving for Long Beach State. Here's Sorensen. Side out. That is number 42, I believe. Unofficially, 42 is right. Eight serving six. Serving is LeGrand. Stimphy sets Lyle. That went off of the ball. Got a hand out. Side out Long Beach State. We are in the fourth game. It has been a long, grueling match on the part of both teams. It's been a match that has really tested the metal. Blanton with a push. That means Long Beach State with the advantage. Hilliard. Now that's a point. Two kills in a row for Hilliard for points. That's what Long Beach needs. Their star to get hot. Seven. Serving eight. Lantern to McCaw just gets it over. Back row attacker. Setters coming out of the back row. Sets the ball a close fist over the net. Back row attack. And we are tied at eight. And Pepperdine now has called a timeout as Long Beach State has come back. 
discover the defensive training secrets of America's finest baseball school in an exciting new videotape. This is the professional instructional video that gets results. See how this group of youngsters added an amazing six miles per hour to their arm strength while vastly improving their running speed and defensive skills in just a few weeks of work. Baseball World's revolutionary new video features professional scout and instructor Tommy Mansky and the same defensive drills used by Baseball World's back-to-back 1990-91 AAU National Championship teams. Lou Pavlovich Jr., editor of Collegiate Baseball Magazine, calls it a masterpiece, the best defensive drill video ever produced. San Diego Padres Major League Superstar Fred McGriff agrees. I'm so impressed with the instructional videos by Coach Amansky that I've given them my full endorsement. When you watch them, you'll know why. Baseball World's defensive drill video makes a great gift and benefits players of all ages and ability levels and improves coaches' practice organization. To order your copy for only $29.95, have your credit card ready and call toll-free. 1-800-593-1880. Call now and we'll ship today. Story of this match, Pepperdine controlled things early, winning the first two, 15-13. 15-13, but then Long Beach comes back to win game three, 15-11, and we are even in game four, serving as Hilliard of Long Beach. Cameron, good uh, dig by Hilliard. Blanton, that's off the block, that will be returned. Blanton again off the block, Hilliard with the save. Stimfig back to Hilliard. McCaw gets it across for Pepperdine. Stimfig. Goes to Lyle. That's a point for Long Beach. Well, remember that yelling. Remember that play. Schroeder yelling at Wade Davenport. Long Beach has scored the last four points, and they're looking a lot more fired up right now. They are much more intense than they were earlier. Hilliard serves, but long. Went to his floater. It worked the last time. That time just a little bit long. So like, Sorensen. I'd like to see Stimfick go to Hilliard here to see how he responds. Sorensen. Sorensen into the tape. Side out, Long Beach. Nine serving eights. That went off of Stimfig and also. Really trapped. The ball should have been stuffed for a point. Stimfig never got his hand over the net, but went off his hand out of bounds. Stimfig and Knight were there, but the ball. Caromed off of them. Hilliard. Dug by Legrand. Getting the ball back is Blanton. Long Beach with it. And what a block by Cameron. Cameron able to reject Knight. Cameron right on top of this play. Ball's a little low again. Stinting not letting his middle hitter extend. Cameron right there to stuff it down. Tied at nine, Blanton serving for Pepperdine. That's off the block, Knight. I like that, going right back to Alan Knight. After the play, he's had a little higher, he gave it to him higher, he put it away. How long was that set? About six inches, eight inches? Yeah, probably, but he's up there in the air as long as you're above that sitter. That's two service errors in a row. Stimfig hits it long. You really have to concentrate. If the guy in front of you misses a serve, you can't serve a tough serve. You have to ease up a little bit and get it in. Cameron serving for Pepperdine. Knight off of Grinberg and also Legrand and out. 22nd kill for Knight as he goes back to serve. Having a good night. He's a middle hitter, middle attacker. 22 kills is a will, a good night so far. Tied at nine in game four. The issue yet to be decided. Grinberg able to get off the block. That Gives Pepperdine the side out. 30 kills for Grinberg. He's starting to catch up with Sorensen. Good, a great night for their two big hitters. Alon Grinberg in the front row serving. Now is McCall. Down the middle. Good small. play. Block got fooled that time. They thought they'd go the first. First option, they ran the triple option to the second guy, a little fast break volleyball, they go up. Second option, nobody there, straight down. Schroeder serving for Long Beach State. McCaw setting Grimberg. That's off of Knight, off of Schroeder. Knight will get it across. Pepperdine now responding. McCaw sets Grimberg, 31. Well, they've taken a little bit of a load off of Sorensen for a while. They're going to Grimberg, and he's responding. 
So Grinberg now will serve for Pepperdine. In the front row for Pepperdine, Sorensen, Blanton, and also Legrand. See if Grinberg goes to his left-handed jump set here. He will not. Tim Fake. To Small, that is off the block and out. Side nice. out for Long Beach State. Nice play by Small. He just eased up a little bit. Found hands, off the of hands, out of bounds. Nice tool hit. So Zachary Small now serving for Long Beach State. We are tied at nine in game number four. Sorensen. Side out Pepperdine. Legrand serving. Hilliard, great, great save. Dig. Great save by Grinberg, but Blanton hits it out. Well, Grinberg does do it all. He passes well, hits well, digs well. Great all-around player. Still tied at nine, still in game four. Hilliard serving for Long Beach State. Cameron Block, they joust at the net with Knight. Knight hits it, and out. Side out, Pepperdine. That's a good aggressive move by Knight. You know, those kind of moves you don't mind quite so much. He was aggressive at the net. Both players flailing away at the net. Jump serve Sorensen. Good serve. Small to Stimfig goes cross court Lyle. And that's in. Side out Long Beach State. That time the Pepperdine bench up saying out. Called in. Lyles. Lyles and Hilliard, they had stopped going to their jump, but Lyles goes back to his jumper. McCaw to Cameron, off the block, great right save by Hilliard. Small gets it across for Long Beach State. Sorensen is blocked, but that block goes across the net and out. Side out Pepperdine, and we are frozen at nine. A 44th kill for Sorensen. Blanton will serve for Pepperdine. You have the feeling that the team that scores will be able to run a little bit because we've been frozen here for a long time. And who's going to break off nine? Hilliard. Blanton again in the back row. Well, Grinberg made another great play off the net. That time Schroeder. Off the well, block. I'll tell you, Schroeder's been a better player since he went out to Wayne Davenport. No doubt about it. He wasn't really a factor in the match. In the last go five or six points, he's been a big factor. Still tied at nine. Stimfig will now serve for Long Beach State. Cameron, that'll be returned by the 49ers. Scoring opportunity. Tonight, and that's a point for Long Beach, and that is a big point. Time and time again, trying to get off nine. Knight goes up, goes across his body, good quick set. Stimpik serves again. Now usually, no, Stimpik puts it into the net. Usually, I was going to say, if you're frozen for a long time at one point, the team that breaks through usually can score two, maybe three in a row. Yeah, unless you give them a break and net your serve. When well, that hurts too, I'll tell you. Knight gets it right back for Long Beach State. 24th kill for Allen Knight. Doing great. Most of those are quick, and even middle blocker, he's jumping every time on the front row. Remember, Long Beach State has played back to the wall volleyball ever since the end of game number two. Oh, nice block by Schroeder. Little bit of action through the net by Schroeder. Getting a little more intense. Look at him eye across the net. Sees Legrand, he goes up, stuffs that ball straight down. And Schroeder's been the turnkey. Schroeder has been the catalyst. I agree. It's 11-9, Long Beach State in game four. Is weekend car waxing driving you crazy? Then use new formula Ari Polymer and stay tuned now for a free gift from Ari. One easy Ari application lasts up to a year, but Ari is more than just a shine. It's DuPont Teflon protection. Look, we've set it on fire. We've poured acid on it and even spray paint. But see those burn marks just wipe away. This acid didn't harm it and paint is no match for Ari. Ari makes old cars shine like new. Order now and receive at no charge Ari windshield protector. Watch, a fire hose, full blast, and yet clear see-through vision on the treated side only. But wait, we'll also give you famous Ari vinyl for dashboards and tires. Plus, you'll get this super towel that drinks up liquid like a thirsty camel. Order this complete Ari kit for just $19.95.
To order your complete RE protection kit, a $30 value for just $19.95 plus shipping and handling, use your credit card and call 1-800-732-0800 or send your check or money orders to RE Car Polish, P.O. Box 7872, Beverly Hills, California, 90212. When Pepperdine was up two games to nine, one had the impression that Long Beach State really had to reach down and come back and play a storybook kind of match. It was almost, it was almost beyond the realm of possibility. But it is becoming possible. Long Beach State has hung in. They have not given up. They have taken it to a fourth game, and they lead 11-9. That is out. And that is a point for Long Beach State. And they now lead 12-9. Trouble is, Jim, they still have to win this game and win the ping pong or point per play scoring fifth game. That is exciting. Oh my. Knight floats it long. Timeout, well, not timeout, but side out, Pepper yeah, yeah. 12-9 in favor of Long Beach State. Bet at the 49ers for coming back. Now Pepperdine trying to even trying to close the gap. Hilliard. Great dig by for uh, Pepperdine by McCall. Pepperdine trying to return it again. Sorensen hits it long. I mean, Sorensen has been asked to extend himself to the limit. I don't know if he's getting tired, but he's not hitting like he was in game three, that's for sure. So they give him a little bit of a break with Grinberg, but that time he missed that ball. Sorensen serving for Long Beach State. Grinberg, that's blocked but out, blocked by Lyle. So Pepperdine will serve on the side out. Nine serving 12. Alon Grinberg will serve for Pepperdine. Stimphy to Knight. Good dig by McCall. Clanton blocked at the net. McGrand, good save by Stimphy. Hilliard, Lyles. That'll be returned. Rally continues. Now Long Beach State with the advantage. Lyle, block. Sorensen and Legrand right up on top of that play. Should have gone back to Hilliard, I think, that time. There it is, set to the outside. They're right there. Do not leave the hole. They close the hole. That's where they block that ball. Point for Pepperdine. It is 10 serving 12. That is long. Boy, is there a lot of serving errors after points in this game or what? It's incredible. The serving errors after a team scores a point. Zachary Small will now serve for Long Beach State. Nice well short served. serve. Mishandled ball. Good call. That's you know, that's a, a great short serve. I'd like to see him go right back to that serve. You're right. It's actually area four is where he wants to serve it. Blanton. Short in front of him. Blanton really had to extend himself on that short serve, and that set up everything. Well, a lot of times what you do is you serve sword, try and take that hitter out of the play. It worked that time. Not a good pass. Long Beach gets the break on the mishandled ball. 13 serving 10 in game number four. And a change for Pepperdine coming into the game. Greg Yurnovich. That's just to slow things down. Marv Dunphy, smart coach. He is using the substitution as opposed to a timeout. Small serves. Good serve. Blanton is there. McCaw setting Sorensen. Well, but I don't know why he didn't go back to the short serve. He had good luck with it. Go right back to it. Don't change your serve. I don't understand that, boy. It's the old coach in me. <laughs> Sorensen with yet another kill. And Cameron comes right back in. Use that substitution only to slow the game down at work. He brings his hitter back in, his blocker. So Legrand will now serve for Pepperdine. Good pass. That pass. That pass, Jim, sets it all up right on the money. Let's him go to all of his options. One-on-one -on -one isolated hitting. Here it is again. There's the watch his pass right on the money, right in the middle of the court. Takes the middle. Goes to the outside, one-on-one -on -one outside. He puts it away. That's what your hitters are supposed to do. Setter did his job. The hitter did his job. Hilliard. Good rotation right here, but Hilliard serving his floater. Hilliard cozies up to that back line. He's got a good floater, too. Floater to Hilliard. And now Long Beach State will be serving for game four and serving to even this match. Well, I told you, they've been down two games before this year. Sorensen, great dig by Stimfig. Knight gets it over. They go cross court. Blanton, 
Off the block, side up. Oh, and Knight turns right around, says, my fault, my fault. Well, you have that opportunity to put that match away. You have to go up and hit it hard. You can't hit it easy. Sorensen will jump serve. Watch him go to Knight in the middle on a good pass. Blam, off the block. That'll be returned. Grinberg in the back row. Oh, nice Sorenson. back set. Great back set that time by McCaw. Running full speed in front of him. He sent it back over his head to Sorensen. Point for Pepperdine, 11, serving 14. Sorensen, another jump serve. Nice pass on a tough serve. Lyle is blocked at the net. Another point for Pepperdine. Time for a timeout for Long Beach. Ray Rattel gets off the bench. And a timeout has been called by the 49ers. The Wave have come back to within two. It is 14-12 in game number four. Grab a seat. Hold on tight for some of the wildest, breathtaking rodeo action you've ever seen. You thought you'd seen it all. Well, we've jam-packed rodeo bloopers, too, with the most spectacular, gut-wrenching, side-splitting rodeo action ever. Bareback, saddle bronc, calf roping, steer wrestling, and the most dangerous of all, bull riding. You'll cringe as the meanest rodeo bulls ever wreak havoc with the world's top cowboys. Only 1995, Rodeo Bloopers 2 is jam-packed with sensational, bone-shattering, hair-raising rodeo action that'll blow you away. Guaranteed or your money back. Here's how to order. Call toll-free now, 1-800-245-5317. That's 1-800-245-5317. Or send 1995 and $3 shipping and handling. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Allow 10 days for delivery. Long Beach State and their fans. The down from the beach. Ball. <laughs> they have waited a long time for this team to come back in this match. I mean, they were very quiet. After this team was down, two games to none. The trouble is, Jim, they haven't come back all the way. It's only so good to come back to 14-11 or 14-10, but you have to be able to put it away. And if they're the number one team, they should be able to come back and win this match. 12 serving 14, Sorensen getting ready to serve for Pepperdine. Sorensen started to, one of the uh, substitutes thought he was supposed to go in. Well, it's too late. You can't make that late substitution. You're allowed to throw the ball up and let it go, though. Stemfig goes to Lyles. That will be returned. Cameron. Great dig by Hilliard. Lyles hitting again. That is in. Sorensen. It is 14 for Long Beach. 13 for Pepperdine. Barb W wants to bring a blocker in here. That's what he's doing. Bringing Ian Clark in to block for one point. That's all he wants. Sorensen trying to tie up game number four. Lyles blocked it out. A lot of confidence by Stinthe. Just keeps going to Lyles on the outside there. So now Long Beach State serving for game four, serving to tie this match. Serving to take it into the rally scoring of game number five. Sorensen. One on one. He knows what to do with it out there. 47 kills unofficially for Sorensen. Make that 48 kills. Blanton. Set for Knight. Side out Long Beach. Neither team's going to make it easy. Good, this has been a good rotation right here for Long Beach. Jason Stintig serving. Again, serving for game number four. Grinberg. Grinberg pointing through the net at, at Sorensen that time. And Sorensen is saying, hey, you can't do that to me. Cameron now serving for Lollipop serve, though. Sorensen. Knight 
That's in. An excellent dig in the back row by Lyles and let Knight put it away. 360 turn by Lyle. Knight serving again, game point. Another swing for game number four. Even this match. Kinberg. Off of Stinford. And Stinford really took a hit that time. Yeah, and there's a net too. Boy, I hate to get hit like that when somebody nets. 14 13. Long Beach going for the side out. And that's a point, and we are tied at 14. Knight hit it into the net. Well, Pepperine definitely has the upper hand here. All they have to do to win this game, they go to the NCAA Final Four. Credit the Waves. They have come crashing back. Hilliard, that'll be returned by Pepperdine, looking for the advantage. Rinford! And now, Pepperdine is serving for the match. Long Beach State moments ago looked totally in control here. They had swings for this game again and again. They were unable to put it away. Now, Pepperdine for the match. Knight, not yet. It's the side I'm back very for Long Beach. Very surprised they did not go outside to Hilliard. Went to Knight, but in the pressure situation tonight, I'll tell you. That's a, that's a gutsy decision by Stimpig out of the back row. 15 for Pepperdine, 14 for Long Beach State. Good serve. Grinberg. Words exchanged between Grinberg and Lyle. Between the cords. The emotion running high. Grinberg now serving for a berth in the final four. Off the block. That'll be returned. Great hit by Lyles. Did not ease up at all. Great play in the back row. Both teams playing exceptional volleyball right now. Boy, both teams just back to the wall here. Long Beach State has got to go beyond themselves. I mean, this is more than a storybook finish here. I mean, you talk about a high stakes game, high drama. Every point, every movement, every swat means something. Well, look for Pepperdine to go to Sorensen. Zachary Small to serve now for Long Beach State. Pepperdine looking to get the side back so they can serve for the match one more time. Now, question on the part of Cameron. The captain, they can do that. He's checking their rotation to make sure they're in the right place. Apparently the rotation is correct. Small serving. Sorensen. Outside the antenna. And we are tied at 15. 17-point gap on these games, so we're playing to 17 right now. First team to 17 will win it. Small again serves. Lolly pops it over. Big advantage here, Pepperdine. Sorensen, what a dick by Stimfig. But a net. Wait a minute, net violation. Stimfig is beside himself. I mean, that was his dig of the game. That could cost the match right there. LeGrand will serve now for Pepperdine. Tied at 15, game four. That will be returned. Sorensen, good dig in the back row by Small. They go cross court to Lyle. That's blocked at the net. Sorensen to McCall. Cameron pushes it over and off of Knight. 15. The Wave score now. They won it. They will go to the final four. Ray Rattel looks up. He knows that his team had this game. Now Pepperdine serving for the match. High drama, high excitement. You will can they, feel it. Will they go to Hilliard who struggled all night long? It's a good question. We find out right now. Hilliard. Side out. Interesting. They go to him on the quick set though. Boy, that is an interesting set. 15 for Long Beach State, 16 for Pepperdine. The first team to 17 will win. Long Beach will win the game, Pepperdine the match. You're absolutely right. 
A lot more pressure on Long Beach right here. Sorensen, good dig by Great Small. Set. Great what dig a in dig. the back row. LeGrand with the dig. Stoke. A block by Knight. Ends it as Blanton tried to swing. And we are tied at 16. Knight the next point big. wins it. Next point win it, wins it, but one of the errant balls rolls out onto the court. Hilliard, I, you know, I'd like to see here go right for his jump circle. He's going to float it, but I would like to see him go for his jumper. Sorensen, off the block, that'll be returned. This could do it. Block! Pepperdine gets the side back. And now Pepperdine. Well, how can you not set? The best player in college, Brett Hilliard for game. Which is which is better here, serving or receiving? Serving here by far. It's not a, it's not a point per play. It's still side out scoring. Gutsy side set, out. gutsy gutsy call by Stinson. Well, right here because we're inside out scoring, you want to be serving. You have to be serving to win. 16. 16. Who will go in the shank tank? Will someone? They're going to serve Clark. I guarantee it. They've been, I'm not Clark, but Blanton. They've been serving him all night long. See how Dean Blanton responds. The Wilds jump serve. He will not. Float to the cross. There you go. Grinberg. Grinberg. Sorensen. That's off the block. Another kill for Sorensen. He's got to be nearing 50. He has 50 unofficially. Blanton now serving. Serving for the match. Tied at 16, game four. No mistakes. Everything must be perfect for Long Beach State. It is. Knight off the short well, set. And they have gone to Allen Knight, Jim, every time in the pressure cooker. Good rotation for Long Beach. State still big serving. Long Knight Beach State. Long Beach State serving for the game. Is that? That is in. They call it in. Cameron now will be serving for the match. Substitution for Marv Dunphy. Bringing a blocker into the game for Grinberg. Mike Shannon, a 6'5 freshman out of El Toro, California, number 13. Well, hopefully, hopefully we'll get a chance to look at that last hit if this game's over on that last hit. Cameron serving for the match here. Long. Out. Boy, what a decision because that wasn't long by much. And a substitution right away. Grinberg back into the game. Long Beach State serving for the game. Knight serving. Grinberg, that is in. Side out Pepperdine. And we go back and forth. Rise and fall. One team with the advantage, then the other team. We are tied at 16 in game four, serving for the match. Great save. They won't end it on a throw. He will not end this game on a throw, I guarantee it. The players are going to have to win this game. The ref will not. Schroeder. That's a good no call by Wayne Davenport by me, I'll tell you. Schroeder now serving for the game. Schroeder credited also uh, with that side out. Oh, he can feel the tension here. Sorensen. And we go back the other way. Serving for the match. Grinsburg. Knuckle serve. Bad pass. Knight blocked. Dimfrig keeps it alive. They go cross court. Lyles. That is long. And Pepperdine is going to the final four.
Pepperdine wins the first two. They lose the third game. Then they come back in a very close, high drama, high emotion, high stake fourth game to battle their way into the final four. They will get the automatic bid. Long Beach State will go back in this tournament. They could very well end up in the final four. We'll talk about it when we come back. Mike Garrett is a winner. First a high school star, then Heisman Trophy winner at USC, and then Super Bowl hero. A winner to those in Southern California. Now the winner is giving back. Tuesday, Garrett hosts the annual Mike Garrett Golf Classic at Brookside Golf Course in Pasadena. There in the shadow of the Rose Bowl, you can join Mike and his friends for a day of golf and fun with proceeds going to the East Los Angeles Youth Foundation. That's a day of golf and fun at the Brookside Golf Course. For more information, call Margie Harris at 310-821-6418. Well, it finally ends, and this is the way things will line up now, is this match between uh, Long Beach State and Pepperdine is now history. Pepperdine, the Weaver champions, they earned the automatic bid into the Final Four, but uh, still good volleyball left in this tournament, and Long Beach State could end up in the Final Four going through the brackets now. Well, one of their three losses has been to Northridge. Northridge matches up very well with Long Beach. Stanford, UCLA, another great match, so there's a lot of great play left in this tournament. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, what went on. Sorensen officially 48 kills in this match uh, for Pepperdine. Pepperdine started by winning the first two games. You knew something was up tonight by the way they play. Well you have to give Long Beach a lot of credit. Their big gun Brent Hilliard only 27 kills and for him that's not a big night. Sorensen came up big tonight as did Alon Grinberg the, the Israeli played great had 30 kills himself. That's a great bit of work by those two players. Do you foresee a rematch now in the final four. Well, I'll tell you, Long Beach, I still think, is the best team in the country. Pepperdine beat them tonight, but Long Beach will come back. It's a hard road. UCLA is playing well. Stanford's playing very well. Long Beach is going to have a battle to get into the Final Four. Uh, great college volleyball still left to play before we get to a national champion, especially here in Weaver. Weaver goes out uh, after this tournament. It is history, but if tonight was an indication of the kind of last hurrah it will have, it's really something. Well, the way the name is going out, the teams will still be there. There's going to be great play in the future. And boy, these young players are really impressive. So that'll do it from the Bren Event Center here at the University of California, Irvine. Let's take a look at the final point coming after almost two and a half hours of play. Well, a great, a bad pass. That starts it all out for Long Beach. They have to bump serve. Knight goes up. He's blocked. They play the ball in the back row. Long set cross court. Goes up. Swings. Balls out of bounds. Pepperdine, they're the NCAA qualifier. Okay.